No, I'm thirsty. As happy as I am to uh, to see you right now and that we're back, I think I'm more excited about what the beers you brought to the tasting table. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to you be honest. You see me uh, most weeks. Yes. As do, every, as do most people when they tune in uh, to about Beverages most Thursday evenings at 530 Pacific. But the, some of the things we don't see will be uh, uh, one of bo- actually both of the beers that I brought. And then there's yeah. a, more to come in the coming weeks. Mm-hmm. More to follow. More to follow. Vacation yes. beers. That is all the stuff Vacation that we have got beers. today. Uh, I am Andrew, and of course, this is Keith. And we are about both about beverages. We, we form about are. beverages. I think we've all, form of. We've yes. made the Wonder Twin Powers joke at least a few times. We have, but uh, it never gets old. Well, well, at least to us. At least to us. A bit of heavy hearted hello tonight, Heavy Brothers. Yes, it is. Uh, heavy hearts yeah. in the Chicago land right now. Which is why it's good we did go to see them. That's uh, true. But I don't know. I hope that, uh, well, we're referring to um, uh, Anthony Rizzo now uh, being a part of the evil empire, Mm. also known as the New York Yankees. Oh, I thought you meant the Green Bay Packers. I was like, man, why would they trade him to a football team? That's very (laughs) interesting. It just won't look right. That's for sure. It will not. Um, But I'm hoping that they pull. I mean, like they're going to win anything either. They pull in a role as Chapman and uh, they sign him in the offseason. Which it would could. be great. Now we've got a couple of picks, and you resign him. But it's a good thing that we went a couple of weeks ago to, to see him. He'll be a completely and, free agent, right? Yeah. That would be amazing God, if you I actually could do something like that. Wouldn't that be insane? Game? Well, that's what that's I said. That's what happened. The Cubs gave away you know two uh, at least one really good uh, prospect, and then after a few months, Chapman went right back to the Yankees. So there is precedent. It could happen. That's what I was thinking. They should have had a little side deal. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Say no people. more. We're going we're gonna to get tons of prospects. We'll resign you guys. <laughs> Nods as good as a wink to a blind I bat. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Uh, but yes, we are here once again. It is a beverage podcasting time. It is, uh, we're going to have a lot of vacation talk today because uh, we were both, uh, well, you were on vacation. Did I do anything? I did something. I feel I did something at the same time you were on vacation. What were you doing? I don't know. I'm trying to remember now. Oh, it's just my anniversary. That I do remember. Oh, we went anniversary. Out a, we went wow. out to a nice dinner, so okay. we can talk about that. But That's yeah, I'm, good. I'm more excited about your vacation travels, the beers that you're bringing today. So I've 23? got 23. 23. That's right. 23. 23rd okay. anniversary. Right. That is correct. Yes. Wow. Good memory. I recall being there for that. <laughs> you were for there for that. You were there for all of it. <laughs> you both look good. Well, thank you. We are feeling good. As you can see, I've had my second shot. Yep. So I am, like I said, I am good. I've had it for quite a while now. I've had probably way more than two. <laughs> Which is, we all need an extra shot. It sounds nowadays, like it. It sounds so. like we actually should be looking to get a third and uh, putting on our fourth mask. <laughs> oh God, I know. Uh, yeah, I, know, I have not. Anyway, obviously, when I'm sitting at eat, that's different. But I have not. Like when I go everywhere, I still wear a mask. Like I've been, I have not. It feels weird. Even though it feels weird going into so many stores because people have stopped wearing masks here in Southern Arizona. A lot of people have. I, it also feels equally weird if I'm not wearing one. So it's like I just get over the fact of like, and it's kind of weird, you know. We. We just went to Vegas, which is one of the higher, and we didn't accept, there were certain times we did though, because we just felt like, like crowded elevators and oh God, yeah, certain, yeah. certain things we were just like, eh, I'm, yeah. I'm putting on my mask right now. So, but then we did try to, we were, you're outside a lot. You're outside, that's so, different, you know. Um, and then, you know, probably the smoke that you inhale, probably. <laughs> This place is some of the other. <laughs> cauterizes all the toxins. Stuff, so, yeah. Oh my God. So. So you uh, you didn't put this on the list, I don't think. Right? I did not. But I that's did okay. Not. It was a little curveball right here at the end. Um, yeah, something we can handle. We can handle the curveball, uh, especially oh, when it's beverage wow. related. Wow, right there. I, I love know, it. It's that's a good been one. Been a rough season for that the is, Cubs. Uh, that is a good rough. one. Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, those are the three featured beverages Ooh. that we've got right there. We've got uh, something from Stone. We've got something from uh, Russian River, both places that we love. It's harder to find the Russian River thing, but the uh, stuff from Stone is also only what's done there, and it was a special little event. So it's pretty amazing that we get to have that, to, or at least I'm super excited for both of those. And then, as we have almost become known, we are the uh, at the forefront of uh, Japanese whiskey tasters, I feel, on the internet. We have done uh, more and more of those. They seem to be very popular on YouTube. Maybe that's why I keep doing them. We've got another one today that has hit uh, a lot of different gold medals, has been in a lot of best of lists. So I'm very excited to get to that uh, Kayo signature Japanese whiskey in uh, Mizun- Mizuna. Mizun- Mizunara. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, Mizunara. I almost thought I had it spelled wrong. <laughs> Because I was thinking about Mizuno the other day. Mizuno. Baseball. Oh, baseball gloves. Uh, but yes. yeah, I was thinking about baseball gloves. But no, the uh, Mizunara Oak Barrels, which we'll talk about some of the history of that stuff, not directly on the podcast, but in this larger show, we'll kind of read through some of that because it's, it is very interesting, like how that got their start, why they're so world-renowned and, and uh, 
the tie-in that uh, that that word actually has to how the whiskey is made. We'll get to all that stuff. Big teases right there. But yes, the curveball that we threw was I mentioned to you right before the podcast. I said I said, oh, don't let me forget when you leave. I've got I'll give you like a four pack of the beers that uh, Jay and I, that we put together. We did uh, some home brewing. We've done that for many, many years now. Uh, and this one seemed to come out pretty good. We were pretty happy with it. So I was very happy to share it. And I was like, oh, you should get these. And you probably should drink them fresh because it's an IPA. And it's a, it's, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's, it's one of our kind of session IPAs. Cause it's over 7%. Uh, that's our kind of session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we, is wow yeah that's a well that's very good um uh, yeah session <laughs> to me does not go over seven percent but i i know okay for, so six for, nine five we would have been fine. jay and <laughs> usually it's probably right in that five range yeah but that's true five, that five being said half. that's really good that's got yeah the aroma is really nice isn't it yeah a little bit of the it's got some pine and yeah, this one has, let's see, uh, Strata, Simcoe, and but Citra. Po- there we go. Pockets right on with what you were saying. Appropriate that whiskey is a medal off, winner and it's Olympic time. Exactly. Off that camera, is, we were discussing that uh-huh. before we went live. 100% yes. pocket. Good to see you. Hopefully you had a nice vacation as well. Keith said he was basking in uh, many beers and doesn't remember half of it, but I'm glad you guys had <laughs> a good time. Nice. Fortunately, she had, I have the driver. And actually, too, <laughs> that is an amazing Stone, thing. Uh, if, uh, actually, it was Pocket who kind of who said, actually, you should buy those beers at Stone because I was looking at the the one we're going to try here next after this, and I almost wasn't going to get it. And she's like, "Just get it." So, thanks to Pocket, we have that. I would say that she's have. always usually the good influence on you, not necessarily beer wise, but her doing the same thing I do, where I'm like, "Just, just get it. Just do it. It's not like you're spending yeah. a thousand. Like, just yes. get it. Yes, you can do it. Especially since you're bringing it on right. the show, and she knew it would help me out that I get to try and some tasty. And I she even said, she said, she's like, "Are you going to be trying any of that?" I said, "Absolutely." So <laughs> she's like, "Well, then get it for God's sake. Yeah, get it." <laughs> well, thank you so well, much. I have heard her to thank. As, yeah, I have heard to thank as much as you. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I've been. Have you been watching? You probably haven't. Life is short. Exactly. Yes, life is short. I, I agree. And right now, as we speak, she's wearing. They had. They were half off. Um, That's why it's, it's so it's short. It's like a triple XL uh, arrogant bastard shirt. Uh, it's a long sleeve shirt that she bought, uh, you know, just to have as a kind of lounge around shirt. I was going to say to wear over three other right. layers. Well, yeah, no, more than that. But uh, was it triple? So, yeah. You said, yeah. Well, uh, and they were half off. <laughs> so. But no, so now it's a nice. If you could do like a thing where you stuff a bunch of pillows in there. You could be the arrogant fat bastard. You might go for the, the Mike Myers Combining like, combo. Mike Myers, yeah. <laughs> Combine Myers and uh, Stone Brewing. Oh my God. That is, that is insane. But yeah, yeah that's, that's really, that that's really good. Good. Yeah. I, I think it is still doing okay. Like I said, one hmm. of the keys is if you kind of look at it and uh, it goes to my knees. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That is a big shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, someone is 5'10 when it goes to their knees. It's a big shirt. Yeah. That is, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Um, nice the thing, and clear. Yeah, the thing you could tell right away, like if it if there was an issue, which I don't think there is yet, was this is about the color that when we were bottling it, yeah. if it was starting to get darker already, like our last one actually did get oxidized. Like I wound up probably dumping about half of those oh. or more. Yeah, I mean, it just it, you know, I just wasn't going to drink them, so yep. I clean, cleaned out the bottles, and the yep. bottles lived to fight another day and contain uh, this beer. So, it's a, have it you guys ha- ever thought happens. about buying it, uh, about making a haze, a hazy, New England style or something? Um, is that one just a little too much we i swear we have done one if when jay gets here in chat which i'm sure they will at some point a little bit later on probably right as the japanese whiskey makes an appearance um <laughs> maybe uh remind me to ask that again because i okay. want to say that we did because it's mostly about the yeast that you use with that like it just doesn't filter out a lot of the stuff and you don't okay. go through some you know you don't do uh there's a step toward the end where you add some irish moss which is also a clarifier you add some things that help with the clarification uh the clarifying and and the hazy you don't you leave in okay. a little bit more of those solids and things um, but like so a lot of like this one i think has about a pound of hops in it for five gallon, which is a lot like there's a lot of hops in here um, like, and we do a seven day and a three day, uh, dry hop. So we do a double dry hop in this as well, which has kind of been, most of this stuff is a stand. Like we kind of have found, and I say, we, it's a Royal, we Jay for the most part has found like, here's, here's like this recipe that works very well. And then that we just kind of keep tweaking with like, you know, we basically like, cause I would, I think he was, he was like, well, what should we brew now? He's like, we can probably do one more brew day. And then they're doing some vacation stuff and some other things. And, and I was like, oh, you know, so I've been really into, <laughs> into like sweet stouts lately. Like we used to make that double or triple chocolates, the chocolate three-way stout, we used to call it. Uh, I, was like, I was like, oh, we used to make that. Like maybe we could do one of those again or something. He's like, yeah, it's a good idea. He's like, we do have a lot of hops right now, though, because we because <laughs> like it was like right before the pandemic, we literally restocked on hops and then oh. we didn't brew for like a year. So they've all been in the freezer and they're all like were sealed. So they're right. like these, like all still super. 
super yeah, fresh and really they're vacuum sealed and everything else. So we have to make at least another IPA or two. So then the next one, we're like I said, we're doing, uh, I think the Sabro, we're actually going to use that one. And then um, what else is going in that one? I think maybe some Citra again and something and, and Mosaic. I think Sabro, Citra, and Mosaic are the three that are going in there. Oh, it's mosaic. Um, but yeah, we bought some of those ones thinking of like, okay, let's buy some of these ones we usually don't use and make it like the featured, you know, hop. Like let's make this the dominant, you know, character or whatever in there and, and just hadn't gotten to it. So so that'll be the next one, and it'll that one actually will intentionally be around ten-ish percent. We'll just add some more base malt and kick it up another notch or two, just to do something and different. And this one you were shooting for realistically, what were you shooting for? Like six, six. Okay. Yeah. All you right. know, like I said, our our sessions usually are not too much below six. Like that's about as low as if you're going to do all that much work. That's about as low as you want to go. Um, which, like I said, especially making an IPA is is a lot. It can be a lot of work. There's a lot of different uh, steps involved. That is not one of the easier things to make. Uh, there's some extra timing. There's a lot of extra cooling processes, you know, than just making, you know, a standard, you know, if you're making a lager in amber or something like that, you can crank those out a little bit quicker, you know. It's still it's still time, but I think it's probably about like an extra hour, I would say an extra hour and a half to two hours worth of labor doing an IPA on okay. average, just from like, at least from our process as opposed to something else. Um, but uh, and but we yeah. probably talked about, so what then caused this to take that leap? Was it more... Converting of no, this into one sugars. This one actually, sugar into I thought the same thing because I think okay. I mentioned that last time when we were talking about this one, how it had gone up a little bit. And I thought it was that, that it had finished lower the final gravity, that it had gotten lower and the yeast did better. But it actually didn't. It, I had forgotten our, uh, our original gravity actually was a little higher than where we normally. So it started out higher and then still made it down to where it normally is. So it ate sugar that way because okay. we... We had, uh, if we want to get in the real weeds here, like I said, so as we did it, we had a beautiful brew day. Picture this beautiful brew day. Sun is shining. <laughs> sun is shining. Yeah, Birds sun is shining. Tripping. Around two o'clock in the afternoon when it's like, okay, our boil's about halfway down. And you get this, oh, where's this rain? Where's this wind coming? Where there, we literally like had wind storm came in. And ra- so we're like covering it and at some, at some point. Like, you know, you're kind of going in and out as you're watching that. You're doing other things. We're getting ingredients ready. We're drinking a beer. Drinking a beer. Usually there's pizza involved. Yeah, usually there is. Okay. Lately, there's been a nice selection of meats and cheeses. We've been doing like a little charcuterie okay. thing. Uh, so that's worked out very well. But anyway, uh, so we had those things going on. But we went out and the flame had blown out. We weren't sure for how long. Usually out every five minutes or so. So we'd been out. So we had to then get that going, block some of the wind, and then also try and get the boil going again. So then we kind of got it going again. And we're like, gosh. Oh, so we added like an extra 10 minutes to our boil time, not realizing that the well we realized the liquid was still pretty hot but we also were like well we probably should get the boil going again but in doing that we had more evaporation which caused a higher final gra- original gravity oh, like I said okay. so our sugars were more concentrated we had less volume which then turned into what okay. this was so we actually should have just literally turned the heat on maybe added a minute or two and just called it good like we shouldn't have done what we did but we were like oh I'm like probably should add a little bit more time because we don't want to have we didn't want to be over volume but we wound up compensating a little bit uh too much so well, the anyway, end that's the story was is delicious. Yeah, I oh. think that came out very. So, yeah, I've, yeah. I've put some more in the fridge because I was like, oh, I'll make sure to send some of these home with you so you can <laughs> have some. So, but yeah, if, if this had it has not yet, it could still like something could always happen because we weren't sure when we were bottling that um, you can like I said, oxidation is one of the heart, you know, can happen very easily. Uh, if the color like if you pour one and like I said, you know what this looks like now, if you pour one and it's like darker, yeah. like darker, you might be like. Mm, this one might have, like, it's starting to go, unfortunately. As the beer turns. Yeah. But it's been almost a one week, week now. I think, yeah. It's been one, one week, week since you brewed that beer. <laughs> Bottle <laughs> that beer. <laughs> Put some hops in so that it smells tasty. I don't know. <laughs> Did you buy the... What? So the I don't know. Gosh. I don't know where oh. this started. I don't. I don't even know the references. No, no. I know what the. Re- so I'll tell you what the reference is. Okay, I'm I don't ready. know. Where, so Riva Gosh. I don't know, and so Baker can probably clarify this. I don't know if that was a uh, makeup commercial. There was something from back, like when I was a kid. A moose bouche. And and the which is a funny word also, or funny two words, but Riva Gosh <laughs> was this, and so Baker and I would say Riva Gosh. And it was just this funny thing. I don't even exactly what it means or why. But we, when uh, Pocket and I were walking around uh, Vegas, we passed this store and there was a handbag there and, and it was, and it said Reef Gosh on it. Really? Yeah. And it, and Reef, I forgot who, I have the picture. I sent it to, I sent it to, there we go. 
has a Emma. Oh, it's a Saint Laurent bag. And it said Rive Gauche. Hmm, so interesting. I don't know if that was maybe a Saint Laurent perfume from the seventies or okay. something. But anyways, when I saw that I took a picture of it and sent it to Baker. So so that is why, but no, we did not need a Riva Gauche bag from Saint Laurent. Okay. So we did not purchase Did that. not purchase that. <clears throat> no. All right. Uh, but yeah, that is the story of, of this beer and I'm sticking to it. And it's a good story to stick with. It's a yeah, tasty. Like I, yeah, no, it did. Like I said, as long good. as it stays like this, I'm like, I'm sure we'll have some of these at the get together in a couple of weeks and, and whatnot. But yeah, I think that one, that one has been one of my favorite, like, especially right out of the bat. Like I said, the aroma was great when we were bottling. I was like, Oh wow. That like said that. Everything seemed to hold uh, very well, but it's it's crazy how that can happen. <laughs> no goodness, I prefer persons that I don't feel bad if they get dirty. <laughs> you have to just hold it and carry it around. Yeah, it's a purse it's, on a pedestal. It's like in a glass case. Yeah, you walk around. It's like when you have a baseball <laughs> me, card and you put let it. Let me in get like, my well, purse and <laughs> carry it around. You need a purse for your purse. <laughs> a purse for your purse. <laughs> well, a, a purse covering, a purse coat. Yeah, you need a pl- the plastic. What is it? The clear bag. Now we have to get the we have to get Baker at some That's point. That's true. Yeah, we were talking about that. All right, should I go grab uh, one of the stars of the show? Yeah, go grab uh, one of those. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a this was a great start to the show. So hopefully yeah. these uh, hopefully these you know professionals. I don't think there'll be a problem. Know what they're doing. <laughs> I think they'll be okay. <laughs> um, now, you'd be honest with me. Yes, you had this one. I did not. Sweet. I bought a four pack, and oh, this God. is the first of the four that will be opened. Okay. Hello. So. Hello. Oh, Gim, how's it going? Hello to you. Hello. How are you? How are you this I was fine evening? For something to be redeemed. Oh wait, not that though. <laughs> Redemption. I should have made it. We I did not put an need... alert with that. If for some reason it doesn't happen tonight, I'll have to put an alert with that thing just so it like fires off. Redemption. Like, like he did it. <laughs> All right. I'll be right. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Be right back, or or with me. You can talk amongst yourselves with me. <clears throat> so, yes, the beer that uh, we're not going to podcast on this one, and then the dogs are excited. Um, we are not going to podcast on this one uh, or record a, an individual standalone podcast, but we're just going to try this one. This is one that uh, caught my eye at, uh, at Stone, uh, Stone Brewery when we were there a couple days ago in Escondido, California. We had a delicious uh, dinner. And it was a, a, a nice evening, and uh, they have a cooler there with some of their beverages for sale. And this one is uh, from their Hop Engineer project, which it appears like they just do a different, uh, different hop, uh, feature a different hop with every release. So this one uh, is called the Mackenzie uh, Mackenzie River Hops, uh, out of Oregon, and it's supposed to have their well. And well, I guess I could share their, their tasting notes. They say uh, flavor profile is hibiscus, fruit tea, and resinous, which is very, and, uh, and it, when I first saw it, I thought, wait a minute, are they saying that it has this stuff in it? And I, had to, I was like, no, no, they're just, that's just what they're saying the flavor profile is. So. Yeah, I, I did happen to notice that too, where it said the hibiscus fruit tea. Uh, and when I saw it, I was like, I didn't, well, I didn't actually think it was in there because it didn't say it on the, the No, rest I didn't of it. think so. But, but I did see that and I was like, well, that sounds like a, that's a very unique sounding hop. Let's yes. see what we got there. So let's go and pour that. And it's pretty new, I think, because it looked like like a week or so ago, they just had an event for it. So yeah, um, so it was fairly, it should be fairly fresh. They had their Woots out there, but I can get that here. You know, I tried to, especially like I was telling Pocket, I want to get, even though I can get stone here, I had a feeling I couldn't get this here. You can't. Any and, of these, usually you cannot. And then Russian River, you can't get in Arizona. So that was why, you know, I kind of stuck to that splurged on it's, those it's yeah i actually just saw the woot stout i went to tap and bottle today i had i made the rounds so i was a tap and bottle and westbound today okay um, and in doing so i i did not get any because i didn't even think to look for it although i swear i searched for stone when i was at their site and it didn't pop up maybe they just got it in but i i saw the woot stout and i was like oh i should have gotten one of those because i was like getting one i usually get one of the bombers or something and those are always good for the parties so i had the ruination 2.0 as one of my beers when we had dinner, and it said it was sans filtre, unfiltered. Oh, but it looked like this. It looked pretty clear. I expected it to look. Maybe they're just that good. It could be, but it and it was good. That was good, and I had that star, star Falker. Oh yeah, that was good. I had I bought good. some of those. I had that on draft. Well, and it was funny because <laughs> waiter came over and he's like Star Falker, and <laughs> he's like what. <laughs> uh, he's you, like, oh, F-A-W. 
Is this a drink for engineers? I, it could be maybe. like for like a, if you're a railroad worker, possibly something like that. I could see that. Or maybe if you're actually doing some uh, some serious engineering work. I don't know if you'd really want to be doing either of those tasks. So in drinking, but I don't know. It's up to you. I don't know what you can handle. I don't know what your tolerance is. But Gim, it is good to see you. I am sorry that you've been so busy. Oh, that is unique. Sorry. It is unique. No, it's very unique. Okay. I already, uh, already did that. Already this did reminds it. me of something, and now i got to try it. It reminds me of something we used to smell when we worked uh, in coffee. What does this remind me of? Some herb. It's not hibiscus, though. It doesn't initially say hibiscus. It says, oh, God, what is it? It's like calendula or something. It's like something like that. It's almost like a flower, like a petal or something, like maybe because it's kind of earthy or like kind of... It's not like a flavor type flower. I get flower. the pine. I get some of the resin in there at the very end. Very end, definitely. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of... Maybe it could be a tea. Oh, like, no, it's like a... Oh, there's a fruit that kind of has that aroma to it. Like yeah, there's, there's a little a, something fruit in it's there. It's like a... That is really interesting. I, having, I'm having trouble placing that... Like I said, it's a very unique aroma. It's something I would not initially, and it and it's definitely not overly aromatic. Like I'm really having to kind of no, it's not having overly, to get in there. You hmm. got to get on in there. Oh, that is interesting. That's it's interesting that the resinous part it's first. For me, even though it's at the back, and then it's like it opens the other stuff up. LG, how's it going? Where'd you go? LG is the one at uh, NAU, right? Yep. Yeah, we actually um, stopped for a couple of hours in Flagstaff, said hi to our son, I got, brought him some supplies. Some, some supplies. Was it me, myself, and Irene kind of supplies, was it? No, not those kind of supplies. <laughs> this is your three days actual, worth of supplies. Actual Trader Joe's. <laughs> actual Trader Joe's supplies and, uh, and a bagel. We had a little breakfast with him, and then we headed out uh, and headed up to uh, Las Vegas for three days and saw the, uh, well, the creator of some of the music here on the show. Is he writing us anything? Not, I, did, I said, hey, if you come across anything, I said, wait. Yeah. Me. I said, let us know. Um, and, or if he uh, wants to write something, spent uh, spent a few days there with them, and went to Fremont Street and um, did a little gambling and had fun there. Then we went to uh, Redondo Beach for a day and saw a friend there and stayed at at uh, their place. That was really nice. That's where I got the the bulk of my Pliny of the Pliny I booty. Know, that's amazing. Came from there. Um, and is one uh, of those going to find its way over on the fourteenth? On the, uh, <laughs> the Pliny the Elder. <laughs> I don't know. You got to drink Maybe. them fresh. You got to drink them fresh. No, you do have to drink them fresh. This is them true. Fresh. This is true. We have the box. Where's the whole box? back. It's, 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 oh, it's, it's out the, there. Yeah. Yes. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so we did that. And then we dropped down to San Diego for a couple of days to, to finish things off. So we went, went over to Coronado Island and, nice. and rode a uh, rode bike or rode a, uh, the like Surrey bike around the island oh, for a couple of hours. Did it have a fringe on top? It may have had unintentional fringe. I don't know. <laughs> The top, may have, the top may have frayed and was now fringe. Who knows? <laughs> I don't think it had fringe. That's a new one. Yeah. That's new. Uh, that, yeah, you interned there for a couple weeks this summer. Really? At, at Stone? That's super cool. That's that's pretty neat. Or did he, in, at, or maybe just somewhere in Escondido. Oh, that could be. Anywhere in <clears> Escondido. Be just somewhere randomly in Escondido. There's just a shop in Escondido. Yeah, that he remembers fondly. <laughs> uh, Move for a new job and now training to try and get a higher position. Nice. Well, that's good. Hopefully that means like good things and you're excited. Like I said, as long as you're excited about it, that's <laughs> always fantastic to hear. Not at Stone. Damn it. I interpreted that incorrectly. Let's pretend it's at Stone. That sounds way more interesting. Mm. Oh, I'm kidding. At a skilled nursing facility place. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, that is really cool. That actually Skilled seems way nursing. better than yeah. Stone. Yeah, much better for the... Yeah. yeah. That's good. That, I'm glad that... That's, yeah, that's really cool, <laughs> yeah. actually. He worked on the taps there at the nursing facility. <laughs> he cleaned the taps. <laughs> that's, and they need <laughs> that to help out at the, they do. At the nursing facility. <laughs> they do. It's, it's very important, <laughs> the way things are nowadays. This, I just get a lot... I, do, I get more of the resinous funk that I like. But are you getting anything else? So you're right. I do like it kind of, uh, the, 
The other flavors tend to be on the uh, be secondary. It definitely like it kind of almost because those flavors kind of take a little bit to reveal themselves. I agree. You do. I, I wasn't sure at first. That's why I kind of looked at you when you said that. But yeah, yeah I would agree. It actually does kind of hit. Uh, the resinous and that kind of like dankness hits first and you get that like on the even though it's not necessarily the finish but you get that first and then after that then middle of my tongue i get like a little bit of light tartness i get a little bit of like almost like a black tea or an earthiness uh in there but yeah overall it's kind of um i wish a little more fruit or something else came through it's all kind of blending together a little bit too much like the resin is almost like taking over and i like that flavor but it's not allowing the other things really to come through for me, but like I said, maybe we'll see on another sip or two. Uh, no longer working a job I hate and have a career I want to work towards, so it's been nice. That is awesome. That is fantastic. Whenever you can put all that stuff together, <laughs> not hating something that you have to do eight to 10 hours a day uh, and working towards something else that you want to be doing, that's awesome. Gim, congratulations. That's fantastic. And, and keep, keep on keeping on. Good luck with that for sure. Keep us updated too. As new things happen, let me know. Yeah, I don't, uh, the aroma is a little more interesting, um, but yeah, I love to hear when people do that. Life's too short to hate your job. Good thoughts and vibes. Exactly. Thank you, Pocket. Yep. I appreciate it. Yeah, yep. 100%. Yeah, you'll never find a bigger champion for someone finding what they need to do in, in life than, than Pocket. So that's good she was here for this, for this revelation. Yes. Yeah, I wish there was more coming out in the, in the nose. Yeah, I, that, I, if, I, I like that there's I like the things that are in there. I just yeah. wish I wish they were all a little bit more amped up. And then I wish there was a little bit more interest in the in the taste too. the, the hibiscus and fruit tea part. I wish came out if if that resin hit and then boom, like you got that those lighter notes or, or yeah. any, either. Whatever, and it's funny. But, I am getting like the hibiscus <clears> and the tea. Like I am getting a little bit of that in the aroma. Like I don't. But yeah, the resin just really kind of hits. Yeah, I think I'm. Yeah, maybe I'll we'll, we'll let it warm up just a touch. Maybe a little bit more comes up in if it uh, warms up a little bit. But, but yeah, overall that's interesting though. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, even though it's not like a ooh ah conversation piece, it's a good conversation kind of beer where you can be like, this is this, this is different. Yeah. You know, try this, try like, this. You know, yeah. and have everyone. You know, depending on their pet, like if you haven't had a lot of hibiscus or if you're not a tea drink, like yeah. maybe that comes out as something else or nothing at all. Like you know, that'd be kind of interesting to to hear what different people's opinions are, but. Uh, I did do a little bit of uh, shopping as I uh, tend to do when I went to Tap and Bottle today. That's how we have the Japanese whiskey that we'll be having <laughs> in a little bit. Um, they have a surprisingly decent selection of Japanese whiskeys. They have the IY Tradition, which again, if you go in the archives at About Beverages, if you want to check that out, uh, you can find all those things. A shameless plug, obviously, if you want to follow on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, all those kind of things. Um, did you find the, uh, did they have the coffee grain, the Nikka coffee grain? I can't remember if they had that or not. Okay. I can. Uh, Todd was saying they had that down again at um, uh, Total Wine. Oh, okay. That, does he like that his, one? Or he does. Yeah, he's oh, okay. a huge fan. He was very uh, excited that they had that. I don't. I don't remember looking for that one. I had just started to flip through uh, the stuff, and I'm just hold on. I'm just gonna. And it's not coffee. C o f f e e. Yes. It's K. It's C o. Oh, is it C or C? I don't know. It's spelled, but that it refers to the still. Type of oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did look at that. We did look at that. And it's a yeah grain. Um, I'm just uh, going to look here quick and see if I actually do see that. I don't remember. But anyway, they had the IY tradition, which we've done a podcast on. Uh, they had. Uh, I don't think they had the Kakori, but they had a couple other ones along with the uh, the one that we were going to be having this evening, which sounds uh, like it's pretty okay. I did not mean to go all the way back out. You hit that back button. Too many back buttons here sometimes on this app. Uh, IY Tradition. So obviously we're having the uh, Kayo uh, whiskey, Mizunara Oak. So that one's going to be exciting. Uh, Looking, uh, they have the Ohishi 10-year brandy cask whiskey. That is also from Japan. That's one we could try sometime. That one's even a little more pricey. Um, Not seeing anything else so i don't does not look like they have that one there but anyway so i got that uh but then my previous can i look that up easily on here on my phone so the order i got today specifically the one thing i wanted to talk about uh was not that one uh i got so i got some abnormal beer drift away okay i saw it they had abnormal i stopped at olive tree market 
uh, and oh, okay. do a little shopping there. And oh, they nice. had a couple abnormals, but I've seen, you know, it was the Boss Poor and one of the others I'd seen already. So tried to stay uh, with things I knew I couldn't get. So, okay, cool. And this one sounded interesting. Let me see if <clears throat> we got the description here. Give me the Beat Boys uh, and Free My Soul. Uh, want to get lost cream in ale heavy dose of toasted coconut madagascar vanilla beans sabro hops and uh, a little bit of sweetness from a the cream ale a say. cream ale i thought okay. that's interesting <laughs> uh this is always what i remember about gim thank you for using exclamation point website there you go website right there <laughs> uh tombstone i got strawberry shortcake sour Ooh, so i got okay. a sour beer from them we can uh, are they totally out of their anniversary beer is it? And I saw when I checked, like before we went on vacation. You talking about from Tap and Bottle? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I still have a couple, so I don't I know. I have if they are. one, but I when I looked for it, like before we left, it was out of stock, and I was wondering if they were getting any back or not. So I didn't know if you'd looked. I did <clears> not. <throat> so like I said, since I still had a, a couple, uh, Tombstone Strawberry Shortcake Sour, Pastry Sour featuring vanilla, lactose, and pounds per gallon of strawberry. The that sounds good. Dessert. Yeah, I thought that sounded good. So I got one of those. We could do a podcast on that. Um, uh, Prairie Lemon Slice. Sour beer, so they do like a lemon meringue cake kind of their okay. like thing. Uh, we did a lemon meringue uh, IPA or something, didn't we? Uh, Abnormal has a bu- had a bunch of pie beers, which I bought one okay. of each one of them. There was a lemon, meringue, there was a key lime, there was a lemon meringue. A couple of those I had like when I was doing uh, my daily uh, video game stuff, and I can't remember if we wound up having one okay. of those or not. Um, Energy City, so new brewery, grape PB and J. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think it's a sour. Hold on. It's a it's a cream ale. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it even looks like an encrustable wrapper on the front. Oh, oh yes. It's a, it's a Berliner Weiss. Oh, okay. Peanut butter and grape wow, jelly add too. after fermentation. Okay. And surprisingly, it gets a decent score on untapped. So okay. that one sounded kind of interesting. And then the last one I got, this is the one that uh, really ties into, uh, and I actually got, I went for it. I actually got three of these. Uh So this is from Equilibrium Brewery. I got a few comments on this when I posted this. It's called Harvester of Simcoe, which is great because they're playing into a Metallica song, Harvester of Sorrow. Oh, so that's why I okay. Bought it. Oh, so, I yeah, didn't if you look that. at, I don't okay. know if it'll, uh, you can't get any. So at, I think they're probably being a little daring. They put their Equilibrium logo and they put the Metallica like symbol thing on the outside. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> Metallica is usually pretty okay. like wary of people using their like it's not their logo okay. directly, but the E goes down this way, and then it has the little up slant like the Metallica logo, and then the other okay. side has the little up slant. Uh, but it is uh, Harvester of Simcoe has aromas of passion fruit, bright pine, berry, and earth, followed by some bready notes, creamy pine flavor supported by tropical notes. Firm. Anyway, as you can see, look at the ratings on it. Like average score of almost four and, over four and a quarter. Okay, is uh, pretty amazing. And anyway, I tweeted about getting that one because I was like, well, I had to get this for the Metallica reference. Uh, and when I did that, someone was like, oh, this place is an hour from my house. Their beards are great. I was like, well, that's awesome. Cause okay. my first one. Equilibrium. So where are they out of, uh, New York. Oh, New York. Somewhere okay. in New I think, York. Uh, you like that long pause I did there? Eric was saying Anthem is some, a brewery we need to try. And I have never tried them. <clears throat> He's at Caps and Corks had some of their stuff. Uh, Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Middleton. Middle, Middletown. Middletown, New York. New York. Okay. Two through eighth South Street. I don't know how you're on multiple streets all at once, but, you know, I don't live in New York, so I don't know how that works. So look up, it would be on our feed, the uh, Holland, or New Holland Dragons. I guess they have a f- different types. What do you get a chance? <clears throat> I was hoping they had a picture of that. New Holland, you say? Mm-hmm. New Holland what? Brewing? <coughs> Dragons, yeah. Are you over 21? No. Yes. Okay, then we'll let you in. Like That's Come like the in. worst carding ever. Uh, Holland, Michigan? Oh, did you see Aaron Rodgers came back? Is he back? Okay. I hadn't Did I hadn't, you, I did hadn't you see his press conference at all? No. Aaron Rodgers is the one packer I like. I am shocked <laughs> to be able to say that. I like this guy. <laughs> it's even more annoying because he's not a Chicago Bear. I know. I've, I've always kind of... It's super... Always, but I, but he's always cool. like... I've like Because I always... Cause especially because he's usually one of the people that is kind of out there on social issues. And I always think like, you know, if you're in Michigan in this hick little town or whatever, like it's probably a little more bolder for him to come out uh, and, and be that way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're all related in there, but he's like part of that little, you know, group of things. And, uh, yeah, like, no, he, 
they were talking about the press conference. I, I watched it and I thought that, and then I was seeing reports today and they were saying the press conference is basically what he did at the press conference was what you would do if you were actually going in and t saying your boss, screw you, I'm quitting. <laughs> like it's the press conference. <laughs> oh, he wow. came, yeah. He like went in and said, was like, yeah, I'm here. He's like, but I feel like I may be a lame duck quarterback. I feel like I'm gone after this season. They don't respect this. They don't want to do this. Uh, they've, you know, people that we've not been good to players that have had to leave over the years. We don't, uh, you know, we don't want wow. to keep people in house. Like all, like yeah, I was like, okay, oh, I was like, man, he is thrashing. He has right nothing now. to lose, pretty much. <laughs> it's, that's got to be what a great feeling that's yeah. got to be. Yeah. I've never had that feeling. I've always yeah. wanted to. Uh, so what is it from Dragon's Milk? Yes, that one. New Holland. I just had their the ba whatever the basic one is. Yeah, that one. Bourbon barrel aged stout. Oh, and that I, sounds familiar. And you know, I don't usually venture into the the bourbon barrel aged stouts during Why the summer not? oh the especially summer. when it's oh, okay. hot uh but, but this one actually it was i looking did at you have everything on, on the menu yeah i had it on draft if it's on draft it how do you on, not reach into it i did reach into it. i know i did why wouldn't now, you looking do it? at everything that was there i can't remember oh the first thing i had was uh i had um uh oh it was a uh it was a um, a sour, like it was a, a lager, dragon's a, piss, a Belgian sour, and, okay. and it was good. Okay, and then but then looking at everything else, and uh, they actually had so that's Nevada, that's where revision is, but they only had one revision on draft there, hmm. and it was like a lager or something, and I was like, I'm not interested in that, but I saw <laughs> no, this, thank you, and then I saw the reviews on it, I was like, okay, so I had, and it was actually even in the you bought the a growler of it? heat, bought a crown, no, I didn't buy that, God I just damn. bought a glass, and it was good, it was oh. very good. And I did uh, like was it rich and heavy like what you'd it. want like rich and heavy and... not as heavy okay it was very well balanced and oh. uh, and very no it was very good very drinkable and I did what did I you get untapped about oh nice what did you I give think it I, I think my initial sip I was a little too excited about it so oh. I backed it off but I think I did a four or four and a quarter okay sounds, yeah. that sounds the, what, yeah. the review you've just given me sounds four and a quarter ish yeah. yeah no it was good did you try the Dragon's Milk Reserve which is a barrel aged Stout with peanut butter and cocoa nibs. No, I would have <gasps> liked that one. That sounds good. That would have been good. Oh my god. Yeah. That that would have been. Oh delicious. my god. Dragon's Milk Solera, a footer aged ale. Oh my god. These sound fantastic. So where is this place out of? Michigan, I think. Oh, okay. Wait, you said you went to Vegas and California. How did you get to Michigan? When did you I, go to they Michigan? They had to. They had to. Michigan Maybe that's why I had Michigan on the brain instead of Wisconsin. Yeah, right. Um, that's my save. I'm going to go with. Wow, they do a lot of these. Yep. Oh, wow. I was reading about Double that. Double yeah. bourbon barrel aged stout. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've got one with caramel, vanilla, and cinnamon coffee and cookies. 17%. <gasps> bourbon barrel, 17%. Triple mash. Oh, my God. This got to keep this an eye out for this these. company. Maybe sounds we amazing. Them. Maybe we so can find them at our local tap and bottle. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, it was actually funny. So I, I, got, so I went, and since I had to make a couple stops today, went going to the tap and bottle, and then I went to. Or I should go say I went to Westbound, then went to Tap and Bottle. Uh, and when I went to Tap and Bottle, I actually saw Scott and Rebecca. They were both there, and they were oh. hanging out. And it was kind of quiet, nice. so I walked in. And I was like, "Hey, how's it going?" And he's like, "He's like, hey, did you get your whiskey?" He's like, "I was there when your order came in." <laughs> I was like, "I did." So then we were talking about because they have lately they've actually had the E. H. Taylor small batch uh, bottled in bond, which is hard, weirdly hard to find, like in some places, and is another one of those ones on the secondary market has gone up to 150 bucks or whatever. You know, it's been has gone up there quite a bit and. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'm surprised. He's like, yeah, he says like, we, you know, he's like, we try and order it every week. He's like, we don't always get it. He's like, but we're trying to, he's like, we're trying to limit, you know, cause I, cause I had had, when I first saw it was there, when Jay had told me about it, I tried to get a couple, a couple of them as he did. And they all of a sudden took one back and only gave me one. Like we're limiting it to one per customer. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you were saying that. spread it out a little bit. Um, but then, you know, if that customer comes back once a week, you can keep getting more of them. So that's pro, <laughs> pro tip. As long as you're uh, uh, yeah, persistent. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so luckily they've kept getting them in stock. They've had a few of them. So I've gotten a few more. Uh, and he, he was like, yeah, he's like, it's like, I'm always worried that maybe I'll see some on the secondary market. He's like, but I hope it's not too bad right now with, with, you know, thing like, I don't want to, and I, I, was, I was like, yeah, I said, I said, I'm surprised that they're, you know, it's pretty expensive. And he's like, I don't want to know. He's like, I don't know how much they are in the secondary. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I don't want to know. He's like, I just want people to drink. And I said, well, I said, I'm definitely, I'm definitely drinking them. I'm not selling them. He's like, oh, he's like, I know, I know you guys would. And I actually, it was even funny because I had not opened, like I, I had bought a couple and I had not even opened one yet. And finally yesterday when I was streaming last night, I opened, I actually opened one and on stream, I was like, this is not being sold anywhere else. I'm actually having this. And I even told him, I was like, yeah, I said, I did my live thing last night and i mentioned that very fact but 
Um, sounds like they're going to have uh, some barrel picks coming up in the next like six months or so. Like they've got a Buffalo Trace one that's supposed to be coming in that Westbound did. A, uh, they're supposed to, I think, get the samples in. He was saying, then they'll make a barrel pick, and then that'll be bottled like you know later wow. for later in the year. Okay. Um, there was another distillery too. He mentioned, I forgot what that is, and then I think. It's toward the end of the year, they're doing a barrel pick with uh, Whiskey Del Bach, which is a local brewery. It's their 10th anniversary. Okay. Uh, so they're actually going to be hosting like one of their like little, uh, like a get together of, of theirs. And he's like, so they wow. said that's something okay. maybe we'd look out for. And he's like, you know, if maybe if you guys want to come down and record some stuff or do some little Scott some said live thing. Yeah. I said, oh. you know, if you want to do some little live something or chat with them, he's like, we could, you know, talk with them about that. So okay. anyway, we'll see when that, we'll see when that works out and what it actually okay. is. And if that would be. Uh, something to do so that might be kind of cool like i said i know we've we've tried some whiskey del box stuff in the past it is we uh, did a podcast on the the dorado right we did the yeah that's the yeah, yeah we it's carry very, two it's of very them scotch like uh, yeah we carry two of them at the store the the dorado and then the regular but um the friends that we stayed at in redondo beach where i the the supplier of the russian river uh at the uh for the last thing that we had uh because he works at whole foods he's a like a the beer uh, and wine buyer at that particular store. Oh, cool. <laughs> but he had a late harvest Sauvignon Blanc okay. from 2012 that he shared with us for dessert. It was, you know what a Sauvignon Blanc looks like? Mm -hmm. This was much darker. It was a dark because it was concentrated the flake because it was a late harvest. Oh. And so it was more of a dessert wine. And it Does was. Does that mean it got like the grapes themselves got frozen at some point or just like uh, no that'd be an ice wine but they but they left the the grapes on the vine so longer, they just let so everything they concentrated con concentrated oh, right okay and it already had some age on it and he poured it we had there was an apple cobbler and it, he poured me a little glass and actually uh pocket took a sniff first and she's like and she did her little like hmm and then she's like it smells like rubber and but <laughs> and it did actually have a little bit of that kind of component to it and then there was some like a fresh tire kind of rubber not quite that, but okay. at least not new toy not plastic. To my, uh, no, not that. Okay. No, 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 no. It, it <laughs> define but, rubber, but Condom. then trying it, actually, Paco's pa was like, she's like, I like that. Oh, I thought you were saying, she's like, it smells like a prophylactic. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's condom rubber. So it smells like <laughs> with or without. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, Oh, this smells like a rib condom, 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this converse demeanor is lib rib for my pleasure. For my drinking pleasure. What? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Um, but no, it was. It was. It was. The taste was definitely better than the aroma. Okay. Um, and it was a it was a good compliment to the to the cobbler and ice cream. So it does sound good. But yeah. So I got to got to. If only it had been that. in 2013. Yeah, <laughs> that last year went too far. Last year, you see him like too pull, him, pull it out of a shoebox. Like he's not been keeping it very well. Like no, like, they re, well, that was a cool thing. So their house was a, it was actually, um, it was uh, Lisa, our friend, her house at first, and it was a one story. They put a second story on the house. That's bold. And when they redid everything, they actually have like a wine cellar now. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that so it was very. That's cool. cool. <clears throat> yeah. Do they drink beer as well? Is it also a beer seller? He, uh, well, he had, he was storing ours in there, uh, my, my beer in there that, uh, the, that he bought, but, uh, they're more wine people. He was, and I've heard people say this before. Beer's too heavy for me. I've heard people say, huh. that. I drink, I don't, I, I don't drink beer anymore. It's, it's heavy. And I guess I get that it's made, you know, with, you know, grains and things like that. So it could hmm. leave a heavier feeling, but I don't necessarily feel that except less I'm drinking like, you know, a. You know, Eleven or twelve or thirteen um, percent dragon's milk out or something, yeah, like that. That can be real heavy, and then that yeah, kind that's kind of feeling hmm. weighted down. But uh, but no, it was maybe the flavors of beers that are lighter they don't really like. So then the flavors that they do like are the heavier things. The heavier they just thing, don't have yeah, could be that too. No, that's an interesting interesting way to look at it. But uh, no, they're more more on the wine drinking side. But they are kind enough to at least. Purchase those beers for, for me. I can't believe that's so, like yeah, just such an easily accessible option. I know. <laughs> he is saying he gets a decent amount in of the, of the Pliny now, but um, so, yeah, <clears throat> that's always nice. As it warms up, get slightly more, you should have recommended the mead to them, maybe. Would they have uh, been interested in? Some I mead? wonder if that you know I didn't. We did not talk mead. Um, I and as fun, I did see superstition meadery at Olive Tree Market in uh, oh in the San Diego area. Yeah, I actually have another superstition mead that we need to try. Well, that uh, lemonade and retrograde was delicious. That was delicious. Uh, uh, our niece actually got me a bottle when she was there. 
and it's uh it's well, i think i told you about it it's i i can't remember like what the original base is but i think it's aged in pinot noir barrels at some point we, we'll look at it when we take a break here in just a second okay. to grab the next right, beer but yeah it's the, the mind circus like, yeah i know should we should we mind circus should we do that yeah. all right let me uh organize here we'll remove that so that was overall it was good but not quite yeah, definitely. I'm not like unhappy with the purchase, but also no. not like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have. I don't feel bad that I only have a four pack. Yeah. Some, sometimes there are those things where yeah. you're like, damn it. Yeah, there's. Should have had one of those and gone back and got more or something. But did you wind up going to a Modern Times at all? No, we did. The, they okay. were actually, the one day they're closed during the week was Tuesday. Oh. And we almost stayed an extra day yesterday. Uh, there were, th- but then we were like, eh, you know what? We we go to San Diego frequently enough. I'll just that'll that's we already actually started our list of next thing because there's a Union Kitchen, and I don't know if it's related to the Union Public House that you guys go to, but there's one right downtown in San Diego there in the Gas Lamp hmm. Quarter, and we were going to go to that, but the timing didn't work out for that. So yeah, we started our list of things. Union, to, that's interesting. I've never heard uh, of. Is it, don't you go to a place? It's in? a La Jolla public house. But I thought, oh, it's and then not, they, oh, it's like public house okay. La Jolla, and then they have one that's like public house Santa Cruz. Like there's a got union like, here. Yeah, but it's not that anyway. I okay, was, I was yeah. I forgot. I was thinking it was the your the thing in La Jolla was a union public house. It was, it was like Union Kitchen, but. Did I miss you having more mead on stream? You did actually, Gim. Uh, if you go and if you want a shameless plug here, once again, sorry I have to do this, but it is required by law that I hit this button. Uh, shameless plug. If you go to YouTube, I actually did upload that. Uh, it's from Superstition Meadery. It's called Lemonade in Retrograde. Uh, I know it's in uh, the uploaded full podcast, like I said, because we're putting up these entire shows now go up on YouTube in archive format the following Tuesday. Uh, and then usually I pull a couple of the podcasts out depending depending on the podcast. Lately, we've done like some bigger format things and so i've just left it in the full podcast uh but i think there actually is separately the lemonade in retrograde and actually you know what i'm gonna go the extra mile here let me just look on youtube i'll get you the link but yeah we did do one and it was absolutely delicious and uh even though they're in arizona they do ship to all 50 states and it was super super delicious let me see if i can find it quickly actually yeah it was from uh three weeks ago is when we put up the uh podcast so let's actually do this click here I always think this is funny. Do that. Turn that off. Uh, go back over here. Boop. Uh, there you go. There's the link. Rightly. Oh, right. You look at that. You already found it. You're just as good. There we go. If anyone wants that direct link, it is right there. But yeah, we have another one uh, that we were kind enough to, to get. Um, and I've had several other things now from Superstition Meadery, just some little tastes uh, as I have been over at a, at a friend's house, uh, and they were also very delicious. So highly recommend their meads as well as Art of Him. Obviously, we've enjoyed those. I still have a bottle of Art of Him mead uh, that I need to have at some point. It's not, uh, it's not anything new I wound up getting, I think. I think one of the same ones that we had originally had because they hadn't uh, done anything new at the time when I bought it. So uh, that one also still quite delicious. But yeah, let's uh, let's move on. We're going to go grab the uh, actual featured beverage that we're going to do. One of the ones that we're going to do a podcast on. If you missed out on that link earlier, there you go. There is all the podcasts we are going to be doing. Uh, so we're going to have the Mind Circus Hazy IPA from Russian River Brewing. Russian River is something that does not make it to Arizona. Uh, they skip right over us. I think they go to like New Mexico or something maybe, and they jump no, all actually, the way to Philadelphia. It's not. Uh, well, maybe they did, but now it's not as. Uh, it's just uh, California, Oregon, Colorado, and I think Pennsylvania. Oh, is it Pennsylvania? All okay. I, saw all right. their, I knew Pennsylvania was always the joke. I'm like, why do they make it to Pennsylvania? Yeah, why? I Maybe they have get, a relative there. I was just going to say, the <laughs> owner knows somebody in Pennsylvania. It's the only damn reason why that would happen. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to go grab that. We'll do a podcast on it, and uh, we will, of course, uh, get that going, and then we'll have the whiskey then after that. So we will uh, we'll put, on some, oh, there it is. put on some more tunes here. Let me actually refresh this. Uh, yeah, Oregon, California, and Pennsylvania, and Colorado. That's interesting. Player, how's it going? Good to see you. How are you this fine evening? Uh, all right, we're going to hit some music, and we will be right back. More good Harris Heller Stream Beats jams, I'm telling you. The it's little been a good night for Harris. Stream Beats Hi-Fi, I'm really enjoying it. He's got another album that just came out, and it's like, I think it's literally called Hype Tracks or something like that, so it's like... Kind of, it's it's not for me, I don't think. Okay. 
<laughs> it seems like it's like you know probably if you've got a lot of intense gaming clips, which I do not. <laughs> like you know, if you maybe if you're going that route, you really need a little extra something. But uh, but yeah, that is definitely not for me. I am doing good, player. It is good to hear that you were doing good as well. I'm, I'm sure I don't want to speak for you. Are you doing well? Yeah, doing very well. Okay, of course. Of course. Surrounded by deliciousness. Oh my gosh, that is actually uh, sounds like a shirt that we should make. Surrounded by deliciousness. Okay, I can write that down. That's not bad. That's not bad. We got to go back through that list. We got a couple of merch ideas. We need to get that done. I'm going to set a goal of middle of next month. We're going to release some Surrounded two new pieces of merch at least. By deliciousness. And we could put it like around the logo. Surrounded mm -hmm. by deliciousness. Oh, like we could like do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do they have other, can you put stuff on the back yet? I don't know if they can yet. Okay. I'll have to look. They've come out with a few new things. They've got some hoodies. They've got some long sleeve. They've got a zip up hoodie, this other stuff. I've heard that we had actually a couple of different people actually buy a hoodie. Uh, and, okay. and they, uh, like I said, one of them actually posted on Twitter and they were very happy. They said the com it was very comfortable. Oh, good. Whatever. So okay. that was really cool. Exclamation point merch. If anybody's interested, you guys are more than welcome to check out some of the merch. And if there is like, for some reason, one of the slogos or slogos, the slogans, oh, the slogo, the slogo. The slogo. What's your slogan? If your there is slogan and your logo if there together. Is a slogan, that is that actually is your slogan and your logo together. I like that. You've saved me once again tonight. Uh, yeah, if there's a slogan or something that you like, but for some reason it's not on a certain piece of merch or whatever, just let me know. Like I literally can make it fairly quickly. Like if you're like if someone we wants can to buy make something, your own. Yeah, you'd happy you, to take you care of that. Create it. We'll man, Andrew will make it happen. Yeah, exactly. If it's something that's already there, like not something obscene. It's not like well, I want a picture of two, well, two right. naked ladies. Like right. no, I'm not can making I get that. Two I'm things sorry. of your logo yeah. with a tall glass in the middle. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> uh, actually, we might make that. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> should we record a podcast? I think we should. We have not done one of these in so like an, an official actual, podcast yeah. in so long. Get rid of some of the shine. Uh, okay, there's no shit there. So the bloom is off your rose, honey. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, take down a couple things. Uh, I think that's it. Things okay. and stuff. Take down a few things and stuff because we were going to make this official. This video, uh, this smaller video, will wind up going on YouTube at some point, uh, even though this larger entire podcast we are putting up there as well. So some people like seeing all the other things that we get to try and not just what we decide is the cream of the crop to put on there as uh, podcast separate. worthy. Well, exactly. Usually they are. Sometimes they're not. Yeah. We have definitely had a couple where we're like, eh. we get done with it. We're like, eh. didn't work out. Yeah. Just not, sometimes you're not feeling it. There are yeah. definitely some that have, and it's not always that like the beverage is amazing. Sometimes it's more that we were actually quite amazing and that's, that we outshine the beverage hundred uh, percent. So, so that is, that is the deal. I hope Hashtag that is, modesty. <laughs> Hashtag no Hashtag modesty humble. whatsoever. <laughs> Hashtag humble brag. Um, oh, we need to pry it. I could put this over here. Oh, you do have an opener? Yeah, I do right here. Good. Oh, I remembered that. that. Yeah, because actually okay. I, I had actually removed it and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, we actually need that. Need it back. Need that back. Yeah, actually two things in a bottle tonight. And a, yeah, two beers in a bottle, I guess. That's the other thing song with the police, right? There's a two, two things in a bottle. Whoa. No, you actually got this while you were out on vacation, correct? Yeah, that is correct. You went way to California. Way over via, <laughs> well, via northern Arizona and Las Vegas. Okay. But you, then, yes. It's a very strange route down. you took to get this uh, yes. beer from a brewery that we... How much do we love this brewery? We love this brewery so much. Okay. We and love, yeah. We seek this brewery out when, in fact, I, it's, well, except for the, except for four cans, one four pack, everything else I purchased was from this brewery. And let's just get right to it. We've got uh, something from Russian River Brewing Company for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the Mind Circus Hazy IPA from Russian River Brewing Company. I just like hearing you say those words, Russian River Brewing Company. That we have company. something from Russian yes. River Brewing Company. Oh, my God. Th th this is this happened so smoothly, I didn't even realize we were starting the podcast. I, I, all of a sudden, it I just happened. As some things had tied together, I was like, oh, God, we usually can't think of anything. Now we've got it. <laughs> just jump right in. Uh, so how did you exactly come by this beer? Was this actually like you were seeking this one out specifically or someone said, here's all the things I can get from Russian no, River? No, actually. Tell a tale. So uh, it's actually very. So we, so we went to, as part of our vacation, we went to... Uh, Las Vegas, uh, and Friday night we were heading with uh, one of our friends down to Fremont Street uh, to check out that area of action, which is actually, it's pretty cool. Uh, there was a lot of stuff going on, but uh, I'm sitting in the back seat, and 
I get a text from the friend that we're going to visit in, in Redondo Beach. And she says, do you like IPAs? <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. Do you like Russian River? Question mark. And I said, I love IPAs. And I, I was like, am I really reading this right now? <laughs> I love IPAs and I love Russian River. And I said, Pliny is my favorite. I search for it all the time. And anyway, so... Um, she, through her husband, had, who works at Whole Foods, had access to getting um, beers from Russian River. And uh, so was, uh, I, w after a few more texts, she's like, oh, I'll have him get you a mixed 12-pack of mostly Pliny. And I was like, great. And one of the ones <laughs> she actually mentioned was Mind Circus. I'd never even heard of that. No. Um, but it, it has Russian River before it or after it or somewhere in the sentence, somewhere on the label. I am definitely open to trying it. Hundred percent. Uh, so, um, when we actually when we got to their their place, this was the first beer that actually to, that she poured me, and I I sent you a picture mm -hmm. and gave you some information, and I <laughs> so I this has hear been, your exclamation. So this has been had. You I have, have had, tried this. You yes. had one of these. I have not. I have tried this. So yeah. I'm assuming since you're still bringing it to the tasting table, you thought it was okay. Uh, well, you know, I wanted to show you right, a, a Russian River beer that I didn't like. I thought, <laughs> oh, let me show you something that, uh, <laughs> that's not let's possible. bring you something that, that's not, not very possible. good. All right. Um, we have said too many glowing things about this brewery. Let's get to some, uh, some thoughts here. Uh, so it's tech, this is going for the hazy IPA kind of style. Yes. What, do, what are IBV or ABV we're talking about? 7% ABV. Uh, Nelson, Savon, and, uh, oh, geez. I forgot what the, <laughs> just, uh, the Nelson and, um, uh, Strata. You, you are really piling on everything that I love. Just and throwing I, I it keep... in there. Throwing it in there. I don't think I've ever had a hazy. Beer. I just had to skip right by the color. It's, it's golden. Like, whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that's fine. no one cares. That's fine. Is this heaven? No. <laughs> it's, it's Iowa. No, it's Russian River. <laughs> it's Russian River. Yeah. <laughs> that is... Uh, peach and passion fruit and uh, tropical things and just all kinds of good amount of fruit but like not over the top like no. it's not like overly perfumey it's it's just a little smells bit of juicy like, and ripe and a little bit of resin in there yeah a little, little bit, bit of that to kind of on the back end yeah. to sort of balance that out but this is the balance yeah. i've always liked uh in hazy ipas as of late like hazy juicy style is awesome but sometimes when it's only that and it's like wow everything is now an orange or a peach or a fruit or like whatever right and there's nothing else kind of grounding that this has that little bit at the end while still being just the right amount of everything like this yeah this smells fantastic and this is limited availability if you are in one of the four states <laughs> that is limited that right? they that they have it or yeah, you well, know that, or you know this guy limited. or you know this guy yeah. and can, <laughs> and he knows someone that and knows yeah, someone that can get it that's for you. right that's right oh my god this yeah this yeah i cannot wait any longer can okay we, can we go go this? ahead can we do it yeah, okay. absolutely Oh, that went a little different direction. There's like a little lemon in there with uh, that yeah. citrus and it's a little something bright. Yeah, there is definitely something nice and bright and f and fruity in the middle. Like I said, yeah, more toward like a lemon. Like I said, there's still the tropical stuff, but that kind of has taken a little bit of a backseat. Lemon in the middle of the tongue. Uh, there's a little bit of extra bitterness there, which I like toward the end. Right. That is just super well balanced. Yeah. Like that is, you know, like I said, it is not as over the top as some things that I've had before. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it is... Yeah, everything is very much in harmony right. and balance. It, like nothing feels disjointed or out of place. Wow, that is kind of like a an easy drinking hazy, or not easy drinking because yeah. that might be cutting it. Uh, you well, know, this taking is it sessionable at seven percent, correct? Yeah. This well, is of a, course, for you guys, yeah. this is our course. Our definition uh, of depending on who you are, it's yeah. sessionable. <laughs> but, wow, um, this is yeah. I don't think I've ever had a hazy from uh, from Russian River no, at all. Like the said, Pliny, we've the had Pliny's a lot of had a lot of sours from them. Uh, some the Blind Pig. There are other things the consecration and supplication in fact i think i actually still have the one of the beers they got for me was a consecration i still have one of those and i and the other one far that's far back in my fridge that i couldn't quite see i think is a supplication but i probably should we probably should drink those soon. i forget what supplication is which one is i that? think it's aged in pinot barrels i think the consecration that blue label is one? the red label consecration that's cab one oh is that cab barrel yeah, oh, you're right cab barrels, yeah because yeah, that's got the that's got the the four different uh yeah. funks in it and then the, the, oh, the cab barrel, that's right. I'll have to, we'll have to look that one up after stream. If you know what that is and want to leave a comment down below, go ahead and uh, let us know what that was from uh, Russian River. And Olive Tree Market, the other place we went to, had some of their others, uh, some of their other uh, things. But you know, some of them are, are like the sour blonde ale style, which I'm just not as 
as much of a fan. It's of. good. It's They're just fine. Not like, it's just not my my thing. So, um, and I do have a, a couple other things for 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 the future. Oh, future! Oh my gosh! Bring some of it back. Some more, but, uh, some more podcasting teases. That's right. Uh, and if you want to find all the podcasts that we have done previously, like everything we've done, audio, video. Uh, recipes, all that kind of stuff. You can head to our website at aboutbeverages.com. That's where you can find all of that. If you only want the latest videos, I think that's uh, totally a fine stance to have. Uh, you can head on over to YouTube. You can subscribe there, um, and we would greatly appreciate that. Like I said, it's all of our previous podcasts, uh, and including uh, if you miss out on some of our full-length shows that we do on Thursday nights, those are up there as well. Like oh, I said, so the, the whole thing. The whole thing, yeah. So if you want like an hour and 45 minutes of these two guys talking about beverages and just uh, interacting with all of you, um, give it a watch. I think it's I think it's a good time. If you only want podcasts or audio, as they say, we've got you covered there. Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, all of those things are available to you. Just uh, go to your favorite podcasting app, search for About Beverages. We will be there. We'll be there. We will be there. Now, we've got some pillars. We've had a change the, on those pillars. The three pillars, but there's yeah. still three. There still is three. Three. Yes. We've three just pillars. made an adjustment, so the new pillars. Yes. The pillars are Instagram, which is hangs on from the previous. It does. It, it, it's yeah, it's there, thread, but it's, it's still there. It's there. <laughs> uh, TikTok, which is the newest edition, uh, you'll find us there. Also, uh, Twitter, which was what yeah. we use most often. Uh, in fact, I had tweeted just earlier tonight. You we did live on twitch.tv slash about beverages, which we do most Thursday evenings around 530 Pacific time. Um, yeah. Join us for the, for the, for the fun, for the discussion, the beverage discussion. Sometimes we talk sports. Sometimes we talk movies. Sometimes we just talk. And that's what happens. All, or also, Andrew will let you know what he's doing throughout the week uh, in the gaming world. Uh, he'll keep you updated there. What's what's going on and what he's going to be doing what he's going to be drinking while he's doing it so follow us on twitter but as we always say if you can find some russian river you should grab as much of it as you can <laughs> perfect i love it <laughs> fantastic oh that's funny i wasn't sure how i was like i need to change this i have an idea no, that was like, good I was like, <laughs> need to change him up every once in a while hj how's you it going? should give it a shot no yeah. if i would have said that right there oh my god that means i wouldn't have been listening to pocket i wouldn't have been listening to myself or you. I've, been, yeah. <laughs> I've been set in my ways there we go that was perfect uh how is it going how are you we actually uh it's good that you were finally here you we said he would come just in time <laughs> You said because you wanted to ask him a question. I did. Well, and I you said remind me because he'll be here just in time for the whiskey tasting. <laughs> and you are absolutely right. We just finished the beer. Perfect. About to do the whiskey. <laughs> you are. And we have tried the three other things. Uh, we what have. was the question you were going to ask? Him? You wanted to ask him. You said, "Have we ever made a hazy idea?" Oh, a hazy. And I said, hazy "I thought IPA. that we had done one at some point that we had done uh, something with it using a yeast that was for like a hazy style." Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh. Oh, it's okay. just H. H, do you know H. that? H. That's great, though. That's good does to have H. H no, J isn't here. <laughs> Unless it actually is J. Going, <laughs> I just don't want to talk right now. He's not here, Mr. Jay, Torrance. J is not here. <laughs> he about beverages. Tar- Rad Ram. Rad Ram. <laughs> well, welcome, H. Uh, uh, welcome, welcome. All right, we can put up all the other things now. We didn't go by there. Uh, well, we went by there, but we didn't. I have no yeah. idea. <laughs> we weren't close enough to stop. But I did think about the brewery as well because you have the your collection. I know your your vault. Of, yeah, of beverages there. So yeah, I need to order order a couple things there before we go. Right? No, no, I, we we're just, definitely going. Well, in that's o- right. You're going. We're definitely going in October, 100. Okay. percent All right. And then it's kind of weird. We actually, <laughs> it's weird. We have to forcibly plan a trip. He's stuck at work, can't get home because of the massive storm. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a no. massive storm? It's Where? dark over here right now. Where's the massive storm? It's uh, actually, this, actually this guy that he works with. His name oh. Massive Storm. <laughs> he's a, he's <laughs> a former wrestler. <laughs> yeah. You're not letting you go anywhere. <laughs> you're not leaving here. A massive storm and you're Dude, not going. You've got to finish all these numbers and get it done. <laughs> I, don't I don't know why he talks like that. <laughs> well, if you're a massive storm and you're a wrestler... That's probably how you talk. You probably don't say, hello, I'm Massive Storm, and you're not going anywhere. Don't make me throw you into the turnbuckle. (laughs) Uh, Over by, oh, yeah, it definitely has been looking like there's been some rain possibly going on in different places. Well, hopefully, I'm glad you're at least home and staying safe, so that's that's at least a good thing. Mm -hmm. Although I'm already just picturing you staring out the window, wishing you could get outside and do stuff. (laughs) 
Why don't you text him while he's driving home in the mail? No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, kidding. Exactly. Just God, kidding. No, please. Just kidding. Uh, we don't need to know that much. Yeah, that is too much. Too much information. Yeah. Um, yeah. This was uh, this was delicious. If you guys uh, like uh, H just showed up, uh, they have so many different. Uh, enjoyed a hazy IPA from Russian River Brewing Company, yeah. Mind Circus, and it is very delicious. It is uh, slightly. It's slightly more understated, but it's like the balance that is just yeah. there is, is so amazing. Because a lot of times, sometimes you get the over-the-top stuff, and that's really good. I have nothing again. But then sometimes you get that, and you're like, oh, but it's missing this. or It's got a lot of that, but there's yeah. nothing. Like, this literally hits, I would say, th- two or three different notes. I would say three, com- com- complexity-wise. And then, uh, yep. like I said, blends them all together. Yeah, that is. They do a lot of different things. I mean, this is one of their limited availability. So if you are oh, in one of the four states... Yeah. That has it. Uh, oh, they have a stout too. It it is really good, it's good. actually. It's yep. it's nice because it is a little bit lighter too. Yep. Um. But yeah, actually, well, if it had been, well, we'll tell you anyway. Like I so said, we had one of the uh, home brews that we uh, did, and, and quite good. You enjoyed it quite a bit. So yep. That was a. I was too. Uh, when we were at uh, Stone, on their so it was kind of the way we wound up at Stone was another story in itself. Through a vehicle. But then once we got there, well, yes, that. They were doing this thing um, is uh, where you order on your phone. Yeah, that's how it was when we went to California, okay. too. When we, we went to uh, Liberty Station, and it was basically like they sat you at a table. Thunder starting here just so we keep power. I know. I, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to hurry up. Then. So, um, but yeah, but, like, yeah, but yeah so, you, had, like, you basically did the QR code thing. Yeah. And you order, and yeah. you could either kind of order together. Or each person could order separately right. if they wanted to. Okay. Right. Yeah. And it was, and they gave you a paper menu to look at, too. And on the paper menu. Oh, so we didn't you, get a paper menu. You know, they have you their other print. beer options. Their, oh. uh, what are they called? Guest, guest yes. beers or whatever. Yeah. The, uh, on guest the guest taps. beer list, it was, Pliny was actually on there. And I don't know if I've ever had Pliny on draft, so I was going to do it. But then on the actual one, the more, not there. So I couldn't do it. <clears throat> Wait, what? So at Stone, when they on the paper menu, which had been printed maybe earlier in the day, oh. maybe not as updated as the one on my phone. Oh, so could you, did you try and ask? I couldn't. Well, because you, you had to order from the... Basically, you had no interaction with anyone. Yeah, that is... Okay, that's how it was. They, until they brought you your food. Okay, that's uh, how it was for us, too. It was weird because it was like... Yeah. Yeah, it was not quite worth thinking of. We'll yeah. keep an eye out for it when we in California next month. Yeah, yeah. I definitely would. Like, I think it's still it's, around, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's very good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I, yeah, it was the same thing when we went to Stone too. It was like we sat down and all of a sudden it was like, oh, we don't even meant okay. Yeah, and that was a very much a California thing too, which obviously is still going on. Because um, when we went to La Jolla Public House, a couple times the same thing. You scanned at your table, but yeah. that one you scanned just so you could look at a menu, and then we actually interacted with the yeah, server. Yeah, I like that Stone, better. Stone was like another. Yeah, it was another level apart. Yeah, you like the shirt. <laughs> yeah uh uh like i said stone was another level up uh up from that where it was like you will see no one like we were sat right. at our table and they're like yep scan the thing and then it was like each person scan and then that got a little confusing so then it was like you know a few of us would kind of went on the you know because at the time i think when we went there we went there with uh with alana and we were like we were all just kind of ordering our own thing and then all of a sudden we're like, should we order everything all at once? Should we just order a beverage and then wait and then order it? Like, you know, we were trying to like figure yeah. out how we wanted to time things out because you're figuring that out. And then also it was like, I think, I think Joseph or a lot of somebody already ordered and all of a sudden they were getting food and we hadn't gotten like other people hadn't gotten. And it was just kind of, you know, it's a new experience. We're all figuring it out. So yep. it's not completely on them. Yep. I think they could have explained it a little better, you know, because they yep. could have done, you know, because they were just like, scan it and you can place your order and whatever, you know, it's just like, oh, okay. Um, Yep. I don't know. Did did they let you do tasters if you wanted to? I'm trying to remember. I know you could do a flight, but I don't know if you could do like, oh, can I try this one? I, I did. You know, there I, I didn't don't ask, think that was an option. I pretty much I had a feeling of what I was looking for and if I would like it from them. Uh, I did tasters at uh, um, Yard House. That was in uh, Summerlin, though, in, oh, in okay. Nevada. Was but, it the actual Yard House? The actual Yard House? I mean, like that chain? Yes. Yeah, yard house. Yep. Okay. I didn't yeah. know if they had like some other like place to come. Yeah. No. No. We've been there. No, the yard we, house. Yeah. Yard with two R's. <laughs> and it actually no it's, it's a Boston it's place. Yard house. Yard house. Yard house. Yard house. Yeah. 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 No, that was yad, the actual yard. Actually, yard house. Go out to the car. <laughs> My, what kind of pants are you wearing? Khakis. Yeah. This is this is definitely. This is really good. It's not like, again, I don't want to like 
set expectations too. Like it's not going to be one of like, there are definitely things that I've had that have gone more over the top than this, Correct. but it's the complexity and balance that is yes. yeah. what, you no, ex- I agree. what you would expect from Russian river. And uh, like I said, that is, did you happen to have this on draft at all anywhere? No, I never saw it on I draft. Bet that would be good. Yeah. I would bet that would be good too. I hate being that person, but it's true. It would be delicious. On draft. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. I think when I was in, when we were in California, I think I had plenty twice on draft. <laughs> I like, couldn't pass it. Yeah, Each that's, time I saw it, I was yeah. like, because I, I knew I was like, well, I'm probably having at least two. I'm like, I'll have this and then I'll pick yeah. something. Like, I can't find this anywhere else. So it's kind of like what you were saying. Like, even though other things, it's like, ah, this is like. Yeah, I can't get that. Yeah. And that's no. why I was going to order that. And then when they didn't have that, that's when I went back to the Star Falker. That's a good one, though. I like it. It was like, good. You can get that in can- yeah, I've gotten a yeah, couple no, cans it was, of that It before. was very good. I liked it. I like it. I like it. So our last thing this evening, which I think I want to talk about a little bit before we go grab it, because okay. I don't know how much, you know, sometimes in the podcast, it seems like people like the quicker, like form of podcasts. So if you want, oh, oh there's the thunder. There's a the little thunder and the thunder rolls. As Garth Brooks um, says. That's right. <clears throat> and the lightning strikes. Better version of that is the live version. If you're going to have to listen to that at all, is listen to the live version. Uh, as we've talked about. I can't believe you're actually being a proponent of in any way. I said if someone accidentally starts to any, play that song, okay, and you're like, right. oh my God, I have to play one of these. The live version is the better Gun version. Gun held to your head. Yeah. Play a Garth Brooks song. <laughs> play a Garth Brooks. Okay, fine. Well, Gun held to head Garth Brooks song might be like... Uh, 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 mm, might be the dance that might be the Garth Brooks well, song. That's a great song. Yeah, that'd probably be the if I gunned ahead. If I had to listen to Garth, that'd probably be the one I'd pick. But anyway, <laughs> it's a weird tangent. <laughs> I like that we're talking about Garth Brooks. All of a sudden. <laughs> you want to go any further? Um, Anything no, else? As long as we don't talk about Chris Gaines. <laughs> And talk about Garth Brooks. <laughs> Poor Chris Gaines. Yeah. He tried so hard and got so far up in the end. Doesn't even matter. Didn't you say there was something where he kind of made fun of it though on a Saturday Night Live? Or there was something you were telling me. Well, I thought you th- said. they did one time. I, I think it was when the Chris Gaines stuff like happened. Yeah. He he hosted Saturday Night Live, oh, okay. and the music he was Garth Brooks was the host, oh, okay. and the musical guest was Chris Gaines. Oh, okay. That was pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. I can't even remember. Was Chris Gaines? Was it rock? Like I don't even know what I don't it was. Even, I never even really remember we listening to, to it. Not I tonight, did. but we'll have yeah. to listen to a song because I am not getting a copyright strike because we listened to a Chris Gaines song. <laughs> also, I'd be shocked if anyone cared. <laughs> Who is Chris Gaines? I don't even remember. <laughs> that's the yeah. only way he he, no, saw, that's he a, made one dollar today. The dance, no, it's a great song. <clears throat> he had some, he had some good music, but he did for a country artist. Yes, those are yes. The, like I said, that is probably the ones you dip your toe into a little bit. But anyway, off track. Okay, what was the thunder that started it? That's true. And the it thunder did, rolled. It, did, it rolled through our entire yes, podcast it and took it over. Apparently, <laughs> that was lightning striking. Of course, <laughs> another love grows. Oh, Scott, stop. another beer goes cold. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway so we're going to talk about uh thank you caillou yes oh caillou no caillou caillou so caillou it is a, a japanese whiskey it is uh aged in uh mizunara oak i had to look at it there because i keep wanting to say mizuno i talked about that hey, earlier mizuno, i'll probably yeah. make a mistake on that one actually glove, the podcast oak. yeah baseball glove which oak. one are we uh having so we're having the signature which if you click which is this black one here okay. black labeled one if you click on uh the collection uh, it's the middle one there. So it's not a ton of information it gives on the website, but we do have a link to that. Obviously, if you hit uh, the uh, command like uh, HJ did earlier. Caillou uh, means ocean. Okay. Yeah. Mizuno. Yeah. So oh. Caillou. 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 Caillou means, Caillou. Uh, yeah, it does mean ocean. And so that ties into uh, to these specifically. So this one, I think it might be all of them. Again, I just started reading about this one a little bit today. I saw it had a lot of accolades. Uh, we've been really enjoying the Japanese whiskey. It's a definitely a different flavor profile than a lot of the things we've had between, uh, obviously bourbon, uh, and some of the other Tennessee whiskeys and then into obviously the scotches, which we do a lot of here on about beverages. Um, but, uh, we're really enjoying the different, uh, profiles. I finished up the, uh, uh, Kokori Japanese whiskey that we had had. I finished that up a little while back, which was really good. That was like kind of like a very heavy Chardonnay. It was very different. Um, and this one, so these these barrels specifically, they started to be used uh, during World War II. Uh, they started making these barrels because obviously during World War II, they couldn't, sh- they did not have a lot of exporting going on. So they started making these barrels because they actually could make them and produce them there. Uh, and then it became like, oh, hey, this is pretty delicious. <laughs> it was turned into one of those kind of like the happy of, accident out of circumstance. Yeah, yeah it turned into that. Um, <laughs> That's how what, what Extra Añejo was discovered. <laughs> Exactly. Just, oh, we forgot about we that. Forgot one of the killer. It's been there for three years. <gasps> Let's call it something. It's extra. Anyhow. It's extra. Uh, but there's a lot of great pictures on the website uh, showing uh, 
them actually producing the barrels, showing the trees that they come from, the firing. So a lot of the classic things you'd expect, you know, from your uh, better bourbons or whiskey. But this one also gets three months, actually travels on the ocean, hence the name Cairo. Okay. Cairo? Not Cairo. 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 God damn it. You, you... Cairo. No, I was saying Caillou. Like the PBS television show. Or what? Anyways, one of those kid shows. Caillou. Caillou. Mm-hmm. Caillou. Kyle. Uh, but yeah, so that word means ocean. So yeah, the last, and they actually have little uh, graphics of like where it's traveled. And it's kind of the same thing. Jefferson does uh, this as well with some of their whiskeys, their bourbons, uh, where they've got the, uh, like I said, they have it, oh, yeah. like the ocean bourbons, which are get pretty expensive. Uh, but they also like every, uh, every voyage has a story. Like they kind of do that thing where it's like it traveled here around Cape Horn and did all that kind of stuff. So they, I don't, I think those might go a little bit longer, but this one, like I said, I think is around three months. I know I saw that somewhere on the website. I'm kind of flicking through here. Um, and you know, they just talk about through that movement, the temperature changes, the climate, you know, all those kind of climate changes, temperature, pressure changes, depending on where they are in the world. Uh, like I said, all that kind of stuff, all of those uh, changes then allow for the whiskey to actually go in and out of the wood a little bit, or, you know, pull more from the wood, uh, and create a different flavor profile. So, as, uh, uh, to further enhance our whiskey, it too embarks on its own journey through the seas from Osaka, Japan, which lasts up to three months. Oh, up to three months. months. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, but yeah, so I think, like I said, it just sounded really interesting. Uh, they have a couple different ones that are easier to find. I forget what, there's a, one that's aged in, uh, like finished in sherry barrels. There's a single, I don't have that part up. You've got it in front of you. What are the other ones? Uh, Kayo the single, Kayo cask strength. Yeah, I could also, not find Kyle the cast strength. That would have been, yeah. And Kyo the Sherry. Yeah, so those are both limited releases. Uh, I would have loved to have found the cask strength. Uh, this one is uh, just going to be 86 proof, 43% alcohol, so it's not, like I said, too strong in that regard. Um, but They also have their collegiate edition, Kyo the Ohio State University. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they should. <laughs> they have uh, gotten together with uh, with uh, Justin Fields. They're working with the Chicago Bears. Yes. Uh, they were tying in the quarterback Ooh. there. See how Speaking of Las Vegas, I bought some futures bets on the Bears. Go I've on. I've never done that before. I always thought that would be cool. Le- uh, Lombardi actually helped us with that. We put down some bets. Okay. Um, I bet... Um, $500? No. Oh. No, no, no. no I didn't no. bet. But I bet... 20 uh, bucks. I bet five on the division. Wow, don't hurt yourself. I think five on the <laughs> NFC and 10 on the Super Bowl or oh, something okay. like that. Right. I probably should have done it reversed, but... Yeah, but, that probably would have been a decent... But the odds were good. So anyway, it's, anyway, it's fun. It's exciting. It's fun. So, yeah. So what so can I ask what the odds were? Do you happen to remember any of it? Like, I'm sure it's I like... I don't. And if uh, uh, Pocket might be playing right now, so she probably doesn't have access to that. But um, yeah, I can't remember. Okay. I can't remember. But it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I mean, the, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't like it good wasn't, either. So it wasn't like Houston Texans bad. No, no, it wasn't that. <laughs> it wasn't no, that bad. No, it wasn't that bad. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't New York Jets bad. But that's the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. Now I've got that, you know, that got cool. those little investments uh, to, to monitor. And Can uh, you like, I, cause I know Vegas, they always joke about like, especially with the prop bets and so you can bet on anything and all that kind of stuff. Pretty you know, much. Picks in the draft. Yeah. Can you bet like who would have been traded? Could you have bet on Rizzo to be traded at the deadline? <laughs> like, could you bet on like, I, stuff you like know, that? I don't know. I would think almost you could. That would be yeah. amazing. Wow. I would bet you probably could have. <laughs> Berserker, how's it going? You were here at the perfect time. We are going to go grab a Japanese whiskey. That is what we're going to do for this final one right here. My beautiful you whiskey are. friends. <laughs> then he, he is here at the perfect, the perfect time. Right there. The last uh, beverage of the evening, we are going to have a the Kayo Signature Japanese Whiskey. It is uh, aged in the Mizunara Oak. It gets a little three-month travel from Osaka, Japan, around everywhere. Get some things going on there. My timing, as always, is impeccably late, but impeccably and, perfect, but, though. Um, yes, but right on, because you got to skip all the other mumbo-jumbo. Oh, wow. Well, maybe I thought the in, rest of our show was pretty good. His, not mumbo-jumbo to me. Okay. Maybe. All right, I feel better now. In his <laughs> opinion. In his, no. Mumbo-jumbo. Maybe not. He, I think Berserker is one of those people that he goes back and he says, you know what? I'm going to go back and watch those guys on YouTube. Well, that could be. Thing. I bet that is exactly Then scratch says, that whole thing? Scratch all of it. No. Uh, all right. We can hear a storm brewing a little bit outside. So we're going to okay. go take we a quick break. Power. Yeah. We're going to go take a quick break. We're going to go grab the whiskey. We'll come back. We're going to record that podcast. And uh, we will see you all in just a second. Let's listen to some tunes while we do it. I'm glad you're ready because I am super ready. I hope this lives up to the hype I've created in my own head. <laughs> uh, it has a lot to live up to. I it think. does. Oh my God. The hype I create. It's an... 
Uh, We've had a good start. We had started out with some delicious homebrew, and then we moved into uh, a beer from Stone, and then we moved into Russian River. Yeah. Now we got Japanese, Japanese whiskey, whiskey going on. Which you tell me you and I are the f- foremost uh, authorities uh, on podcasting. On uh, <laughs> That's what I feel. I feel that uh, we are the foremost authorities. Two brothers pod. Uh, we are, yeah. <laughs> we are the two brothers who podcast the most on Japanese whiskey. So, okay. All right. <laughs> it's our claim to fame. This is our new claim to fame. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, we are going to knock out uh, one last podcast this evening. So, uh, since this will definitely probably be going up on youtube as well this entire show goes up on youtube which like i said we were jokingly talking about with berserker when he came in uh we put this whole thing up there it was good mumbo jumbo see it was fine two brothers in a pod cast i like it that's good gim i like it um this whole entire show goes up now archive format on tuesdays uh, the following tuesday on uh, youtube so we put that up there as well uh and then usually depending on what uh what is going on like this one uh, i think the previous podcast both of those at some point will be pulled out uh, and they will get uh, also their own little stage on That's youtube right. as well so a couple a couple different things but uh let's set this over here. so we've got that yeah, you weren't even ready last time. We actually just jumped right into the podcast. We did. But no, it was, it was perfect. It was just perfect, though. It yes. was so perfect. <laughs> no, I liked it. I, also, I actually, I, I realized it as it was happening, but I was like, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Huh? All of a sudden, you're like, oh, my God, I think he's, I think he's tying this. I something. think we've already started. Rim shot for Gim. Yeah, Punch. actually, Gim should have a rim shot. There you go. Oh, I should actually do it as perfectly. Oh, of course. Two brothers in a pod cast. There we go. Nailed and it. then also a handsome... Pete, I think I don't see one. No one's, no calling, one's, no one's done any though. I think we're like, calling for I Pete. I think there are plenty of people that have probably channel points. If they wanted to do a handsome oh, Pete right man, now, man, no Pete. If Baker or Pocket or someone wanted to hit a handsome po- Pete right think, now, they literally could do it. They I literally could but do it. But you can't redeem if you're watching via. Yes, you can. Can you now? The only. No. Arr, that's Ha-ha. Pete. He dances. <laughs> see, <laughs> Gim had it. Pete, you got some customers. <laughs> <laughs> handsome pete i actually did that just in time i had to put back up all of those logo things because i had already taken them all down for the podcast recording we oh good wow good timing i did that just in time if Thank we you ever guys so when much. we do scotch we should have handsome pete p-e-a-t oh my god yes <laughs> the only Arr. one I will, the only one i'll give you for give you for free because a lot of people don't like busting out the bits is uh well not that one this one you can have this one for free I'm weak like any other man. I'm just a human, right? I drink a little. Yeah. Of course. I've smoked pot. All right. Yeah. I've tried heroin. <laughs> a few times, yeah. yeah. And you know what, I, what I'm really trying to do now is I'm really, really, really trying hard to cut down on the number of times that I try heroin <laughs> in a day. <laughs> They fully look so young there. Yeah, it's in a day, it's in a day that's a stroke a of genius. Day. All right. <laughs> Don't redeem anything else. I have uh, taken off all of the stuff. It will not pop up. Okay, no redemptions. No redemptions till we're done. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we're going to record a podcast no, no, now, no, uh, no. so we're going to knock this out. It will go up on YouTube. Yada, yada, you heard my speeches already. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> As the foremost experts on Japanese whiskey, I feel on the internet... <laughs> <laughs> not true at all <laughs> not uh, true at all we've been doing a lot of them lately and actually i have been really enjoying the difference of complexity and flavor profiles compared to obviously all the whiskeys that we enjoy the bourbons the scotches all those things still wonderful but i have been enjoying what has uh, been coming to the tasting table in in that regard it's true um, would you be okay if we did another one absolutely bring it on okay all right well Thankfully, that's what we've got for this. Give it a shot, I'm Andrew. <laughs> and I'm Keith, and we are about beverages. And the beverage that we are about today is the Kayo, the signature whiskey, Japanese whiskey. Yeah, this one uh, is one that I had uh, had just happened to see a couple different articles on. Uh, they had it at our local, uh, well, local, uh, not Tap and Bottle directly, but Westbound, which is uh, one of the... Part of affiliated with Tap and Bottle, right. part of Tap and Bottle, yeah. the Tap and Bottle umbrella, umbrella of course, the, the, uh, as it were, the corporate yes. bottle. I don't know what they're going by these <laughs> days. No, uh, but anyway, they had this uh, there as well, and I was uh, picking up something else, and I was like, oh, I want to try another another Japanese whiskey, and I happened to see that they had it, and I uh, literally, as I kept started reading about it, reading the story about it, uh, what the name implied, I just kept getting 
more and more uh, excited. Um, so Kayo means ocean? Ocean, okay. correct. And uh, Mizunara oak is what this is aged in. Uh, unchill filtered. Okay. So Which is, yeah, that's fairly <clears throat> common. Like you see that in a lot of... A lot chill of filter, things. usually that's done like with the whiskeys and things in Tennessee, right? Or Kentucky mm-hmm. or... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the non-chill filter, you see a little bit more of that. Like some, and again, if we have if we make any mistakes here, guess what? You can comment down below, let Please us know. Please let we, us know. And if there are other whiskeys, not just uh, ones from Japan, but if there are any other whiskeys and things that we should be trying that we may not have uh, had that you went back in the archives, saw we haven't tried, comment below, let us know. We're always liking to try uh, some new things. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying these. But yeah, with the ocean... Uh, hence the name of, of the, this one in particular. It uh, They do travel with this through, like they put it on a boat. They kind of go the Jefferson route. Yes. Uh, like their ocean series. This one actually does do some traveling from Osaka. Up to three months. Okay, up to three months traveling on a boat, which in theory like is allowing for, you know, differences in temperature, differences in, uh, you know, pressure, right. all these different things allowing for the whiskey to, you know, mature in the oak. And to move around in, in different mm-hmm. ways and absorb uh, into the oak as well. So... <clears throat> yeah, this is 43%. Yep, so 86 proof, 43%. Uh, this one comes in. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait on the price. Okay. Wait on the price till we have it. I don't want to know. That's right. Don't I'm glad, I'm glad you me. didn't even ask. I, I wasn't going to I wasn't going to tell you. Okay, good. <laughs> price is no object. Price well, wait, is no, no object. it is. I don't it think Keith has ever said that before his entire uh, never. life. Never. Never said that. No <laughs> Someday I hope to be in that position. <laughs> I hope, yes. <laughs> I would money love is to no be, object. I would love to be in that position to walk <clears throat> into some place and need something and say, money is no object, then you uh, get this stuff. I need your finest Budweiser, money is no object. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, no. Okay. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Money should be an object because you're going to have to pay for your sad liver because that goes That's filtering true. through it. That's true. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, color, actually, compared to the bottle, which I thought looked slightly darker, this is definitely lighter. Yep. Uh, I think uh, it's kind of more toward, uh, like I said, we've had a few different Japanese whiskey. It's it's not quite as light as the Kokori, but it's kind of heading in that direction, that Chardonnay yeah. color. Um, you know, like a very oaky kind of Chardonnay I don't know what that kind of yellow, yeah, yeah, a little bit of like a little honey. Sorry, you can see a little better there if I hold it here. Yep. Because the green screen, too much green there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Look, and I've had my shot, so there's shot number two right there. I can. (laughs) Fills right in. That's right. It does. (laughs) And actually, what makes this probably taste even better is right here. I've got the uh, signature about beverages glass. If you would like to have. I don't have that. You don't. Uh, The other one is in the the dishwasher. My wife loves using these glasses so much. I was glad I had at least one. Okay. I was glad I had at least one of these. So if you want any of these, guess what? There's a link down below. You can uh, check those out directly from Glen Cairn. Which is super cool. Yeah, it's very cool that they do that for us. So thanks to them. And uh, all right, now we can get to the aroma. I Let's do that. that. Let's do that. I'm ready. The thunder continues to roll. And the thunder rolls. The thunder rolls, the land is dry. Some more Mizunara oak <laughs> <laughs> on a sleepless night. <laughs> There's one thing we love doing on this podcast singing. Is singing complete f- bullshit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think they use, let's say. Hmm. Okay. okay. You ready? Yep. I think I am. A little something, something? A little something, something. Okay. I'm going to just read the tasting notes right from the website. <laughs> I know. I want to look at something else and then I see that. I'm always like, I guess I'm getting that. <laughs> okay. All right. I get nut and some vanilla. Okay. So I would almost, uh, definitely the vanilla. I would agree with you on that. It's definitely kind of a a lighter aroma. Um, The nut for me is almost almond, which sometimes then is almost like a little fruity than cherry. Yeah, kind of goes into that cherry a little bit. So yeah, I would agree. Like I said, almond I thought at first, and then into the, like I said, yeah, into the nut there, I think kind of hits. Yep. Uh, But yeah, no, I get, and it's, it's very nice. And this is kind of what I've gotten other than the, I would say the IY tradition has been a little bit of the outlier. The other Japanese whiskeys we've had have all been kind of a little bit on this lighter profile, right? Uh, which to me, 
I've been enjoying just because it's a little bit of a mix up between some of the other, the Iowa obviously the bourbons and other things that we've had. Thought was more like peaty, right? It or had more little, toward the scotch. Had not, a little more, yeah, it was yeah. not quite that far because, right. uh, like I said, my wife who is not huge scotch fan and it had some and really liked the IY tradition right. likes it so it's a little more toward the smoky it doesn't have the briny as much which I think is probably what uh, maybe she doesn't like one of um, our followers he felt the same way when he tried it he's like oh, I didn't think it was scotch like at all yeah I think it definitely has some of that sm- a smoky quality whereas yep. this is not this is just yeah this has a very nice aroma but it's very light and it's very delicate yep should we taste it's time might as well follow it through yep. I think you boys have lovely singing voices. Sure, my volume was muted, but it was glorious nonetheless. <laughs> I saw that, that and I almost started laughing. Is that when we saw. sing like, he just sees us go. Yeah. He thinks we're doing opera or we something. We have self-muted. <laughs> self-muted we should. Probably should. Half this podcast should probably be self-muted, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like Pagliacci, the sad, tragic right clown. Yeah. Is he saying something right now? Did I turn the volume off? It's Pavarotti. It's He's doing... That's right. He's doing Pagliacci. Sad, tragic clown. Just like Pagliacci did. I tried to keep my sadness hid. Smiling in the public eye, but in my lonely room I cry. Is that Chris Gaines? <laughs> no, it's uh, <laughs> Smokey Robinson. Oh. Tears of a Clown. Tears of a Clown? Yeah, that's right. When there's no one around. Although that's a very kind of happy little sound. The symphony was astonishing. I know. You wouldn't think on the budget that we have, which is like not the biggest budget. Like I appreciate everyone. Uh, like said uh, lately, like said, we've had uh, some very generous people with uh, subs and bits and everything else. But I tell you, like I said, it's still not enough to afford the entire orchestra. <laughs> Keith and I are really footing that bill. So if you want to help us out in the it's future. It's multi-layered tracks we have to go through and record each, yeah, uh, each exactly. piece of harmony on yeah, our own. We can, so. we can only pay one person at a time and we have to layer all the things together. It's a lot of work. Yeah, like I said, I do the video editing stuff. Keith takes care of all the music. Like, I cannot. I don't have time. (laughs) Was that Chris Gaines? That was beautiful. Was that Kesha? Oh, God, please no. Man, I think I'd be happier if they thought we were Chris Gaines. <laughs> Is that <laughs> it looks the picture? Like Chris Gaines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that'd be funny. That actually, that's not the one. I have to. <laughs> um. I did just open this as well, so that's kind of why I'm letting it sit a little bit sometimes. Although, yeah, a little bit. Although we're not really having to worry about like, oh, that's hot. Yeah. No, 43%. We shouldn't have to. No. <clears throat> then we don't. <laughs> we don't. I could drink this after working in the fields on a hot day. <laughs> that's how refreshing this is. <laughs> this is going to be in your next uh, mule, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think this would be strong enough to be my next mule. No, it couldn't be a mule. Yeah. The Lafroy worked out really well. Like I said, I don't know if anybody saw me tweeting that I was uh, messing with some, as opposed to doing the classic Moscow Mule. Pretty much, I don't even want to make it. So it's like a worst. It's a waste of time. So whiskey mule, tequila mule, and then I did the uh, which I'm, was not original, but I did a Scotch mule the other day. Did a couple different variations on that. I had a bottle of uh, blended Scotch, which I actually uh, used that had been given to me by my mother-in-law. She had had. I don't know. Someone gave it to her and that was a classic, like, I'm not going to drink this. Do you want it? And right. I was like, well, I'll see if it is any good. And right. it was okay for a blended scotch. Uh, but like I said, then we went to, like I said, then I eventually the other week, uh, like I said, during one of my streams, I did the uh, scotch mule I made with Lafroig, And that was like, that was pretty good. Like that came through, like the smokiness came through, like that yeah. was an extra level of deliciousness after working in the beet fields exactly You'll working the hard remember me. Uh, so your lovely vocals aside does this whiskey feel familiar to uh mm-hmm. familiar to any of the others that you've tried i believe you mentioned the iy uh, would you say that's the closest comparison i would actually currently say it is closer to something else but we'll we're probably, about to get to that I but think, we'll probably right? get to that we'll probably get we to resume the, the recording yeah. portion of the show yeah actually we'll get to that right now but i would say it's closer to something else it after is, working in the peat fields yeah if you like the iy 
this is different than that, but I think we'll probably talk about that as we taste again. So are you ready? Yes. Okay. I really like that. That is, that is actually, it's not, um, it's not as strong as I think I was hoping for. I was hoping for more, uh, like I said, in reading some of the reviews and some of the information, I think I was hoping for a little bit more of that cherry and that fruit to come out. Right. I'm not getting as much of that in the flavor. I'm getting a little bit more of the vanilla. I am getting a little bit of like some smoke, um, and, and borderline sea spray kind of thing, like a little saltiness kind of coming through. Um, and there's a little nice sweetness in there as well. Uh, you know, like I said, more of like a, just kind of more like a cane sugar as opposed to, you know, molasses or something like, so that's kind of the, the ballpark I'm in of things. What are you wrong? No, I'm just uh, kidding. <laughs> I watched great. too much Willy Wonka over that'd be the weekend. Great. <laughs> wrong, wrong, sir. sir. Wrong. wrong. That, is, <laughs> that movie is fantastic. <laughs> that is a great movie. Um, no, I get the vanilla. Okay. A little bit of a little bit of smoke and I, I don't get a lot from this and that like you said I think I was hoping maybe for a little bit more of the the fruit I would agree uh, a couple of extra notes here and there would have would have been nice it's it's but it's good it's it's smooth um, it's easy it's not um, it's it's not too simple it's not it's not over the top but it yeah it it has that just that little bit of vanilla and that little bit of smoke a little bit of wood and and i think that's that's kind of what i get from that the body is a little bit better than i thought it was going to be honestly mm -hmm. when i looked at it um it's not it's not super heavy but it's kind of like olive oil kind of viscosity like there's a nice you know uh you know that helps a, a lot there's a nice you know, like i said again feeling to that that viscosity helps out a lot um so I like that. Yeah, I wished a little bit more of like the almond and into that kind of cherry. I right. wish a little bit more of that came out. It's there, but it is very much a whisper because there is uh, yep. a little bit of that, you know, like I said, you know, the charring of the barrel kind of comes through a little right. bit. I would say, uh, like I said, honestly, like I said, as we were live here in chat, people are asking what this is similar to and some other whiskeys that we have had. And for me, this is kind of almost like literally an in-between between, between uh, the uh, Kokori that we've had that was very much more toward, you know, fruity, Chardonnay, like that kind of Lighter, you know, very yeah. oaky, like buttery. And then the IY that we've also had recently that we really like, but that one's got a lot more smoke to it. Right. You know, more than um, so it's it's more toward i would say the kikori but it's you know like it's not it's not quite in the middle um but it's 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 in that kind of it's kind of it, yeah. it is definitely a little bit in between those two but I, I like i said i really like it i'm liking some of these flavor profiles like i said and yeah and easy drinking is is definitely the key there like i said this is something you could easily as i poured a little bit more as we were working here like i said right. you could easily just be like oh yeah i'm just drinking through some of that like it's not like it's not an overly complex sipper, and it's also not super hot, so it's very easy to drink. I don't think yeah. it would, uh, especially at the price, which we'll talk about here in a second, you would not mix this. <laughs> so definitely not doing that. That's kind of like the, uh, the, the, the Trader Joe's, the, um, my, my Kakuna or whatever that one oh, was. Oh, yeah, that was the other one we had. That yeah, was yeah. lighter, and that yeah, was more sweet that would for sure, too. probably get lost in something unless yeah. you just wanted a little, little alcohol taste like to mix with some ginger ale or something if you're making right. a highball or something simple like that. Uh, definitely more of a of an easy sipper, and that's that's where this kind of goes in. But where and the Trader Joe's was more toward the sweet too. Like that was almost yes. kind of like I was like, okay, they're really hitting the sweetness there, and right. even uh, less complexity with that one. So where does this fall in the pricing spectrum? <laughs> this one is seventy bucks. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So this is not cheap. Okay. Like I said, this is so for that price and some of the accolades I thought, I think I had a little bit more in my head that I th was hoping for a little bit more right. in the complexity. I'm very happy with it. I probably wouldn't buy it again. Like I think I like the IY tradition uh, a lot more and especially because that one's about, depending on where you find it, 10 to $15 cheaper. Uh, I, I like that one quite a bit. Like I said, even at where I got this, it's about $10 cheaper to get the tradition, which I, I'd like to try some more things from them. This is still very good. And again, if you're one of those people that like, you know, hundred dollar bills are falling out of your pocket, like you should still try it. Uh, but like, you know, I don't, I don't think it, I don't know if it has the weight to, for that pricing. Did uh, you see any others there uh, of the Cayo? Was this the only one? I did not. I looked. Okay. I because right. right. honestly, if I'd have had options, I would have gone for. The, they have a cask strength, uh, which I totally would have tried. I've gotten more into late. Like for me, uh, like you know, it, like not to get too far into the weeds, but like I said, I definitely think around like a hundred. 110 proof is what I like a little bit more because when you don't uh, proof down as far with water, you get a little bit more flavor, more, you get more and complexity. More body, yep. You do get more heat, but once you've kind of gotten used to that and have drank some more slightly higher proof things, right. 
I think that will honestly become a lot of people's wheelhouses when it comes to spirits because you get so much more for that because they're not proofing it down as far. Uh, although with this one, the body really doesn't change that much. No, you know, I like said, so that was like I said, so the body on this one is still good, but yep. um, yeah, I just, I, for that, for that price, I wish it had a little bit more. I'm still going to enjoy this and I'm glad that I have it, but I don't, I don't know for me, it warrants a second. Would you second revisit purchase. other Coyotes? Definitely. Okay. Again, I would not go the, there's one here. Um, I would not go the single range, like I said, because that one, even though that one's a little bit higher proof, um, that one doesn't interest me quite as much. But like, I, I, yeah, maybe I would try anything. Like I said, I would, I would seek out the cask strength just because that one interests me the most. Uh, like I said, that one I think gets, uh, actually, they don't give an age statement on that. The single, they actually say seven years. So that one gets a little bit more, I think, even than this one. So. Uh, that one, okay. I, I definitely would just because the quality was still there again, right. if the cast strength was like double the price, like I said, not to get into that too much, but you know, I would try it for all of you, <laughs> but, but it would not be the one things I would, we will do for our the things viewers, we will do for audience subscribers, followers. Yeah, yes, of course. And if you are one of those people that have done that over the years, uh, we thank you so much. But if you have missed anything that we have done over the last decade, you can go to aboutbeverages.com. Check out everything that we have done, podcasts, videos, recipes, stories, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can go look at that. If you only want the most recent videos and want little alerts when they actually go live with uh, new content. Alerts, you say? Alerts, I say. Subscribe on YouTube. That would be a great place. Would greatly appreciate that. Uh, and if you only want uh, the audio, totally fine there as well. You can search on any of your favorite podcast uh, apps for About Beverages and you will find us. But obviously the big ones, Google Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, all available to you. At, uh, at no cost, completely free. We'll give it to you for free. For free. Why First not? First taste is free. Why but then not? after, no, I'm just kidding. It's all free. Even the three pillars are free. The three pillars. Oh, the three free the three. pillars. Oh, the, th the free pillars. That was the free pillars. The free three. The for three. The three free. <laughs> uh, those pillars would be Instagram, TikTok, and of course, Twitter, which is what we use most often to let you know what's going on here at About Beverages, especially when we are going to go live most Thursday evenings around 5:30 Pacific time. Um, we're gonna, we're, yeah, we're gonna let you know what's what's going on. We're gonna let you know when we're, um, what we're gonna be trying, what. Uh, and just in general, what's happening, we'll also let you know that uh, on Thursdays, we're going live on twitch.tv slash about beverages. You can join us for all the fun, the beverage tasting, the conversation. Uh, Andrew lets you know throughout the week what games he's going to be playing and what he's going to be drinking while he's playing them and any other exciting things that are going on uh, at Twitter. <clears throat> but as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. And that is a podcast. Uh, you're broadcasting. If it, <clears throat> Keith, before price is no object to me, Keith, after. It appears I will be objectifying the price. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, As we've said, I never say price Keith is no object. Keith has never said that. Well, of course. I, one of my favorite, well, we'll talk about that in a second. That's exactly my proof range. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I think that is, uh, yeah, like right around that 100, even up to 110, per, like I like things that are even higher proof than that. Obviously, uh, like I said, H, you guys have been kind enough to share it. Like I said, that, uh, which I'm shocked to say, there was a Jack Daniels uh, barrel proof that you guys had that was a rye uh, that they do. It's a different, it's a completely different mash build than what they normally do. So it's different, right. is one of the best things I've ever had. Okay. Uh, like I said, and that's like 125 or 30 proof. Literally does not taste like that. Like you could literally like. It's like, that's oh not God. just their sip and whiskey. No, it's not oh, just their sip and whiskey. Patrick, how's it going? Good to see you. Kayo whiskey. <laughs> yes, that is what we were uh, finishing up right here as we speak on the podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, Keith has never been the one that. And one of the funnier ones I always thought was the, at least to me of recent memory, is the uh, when we had the Merkin Vineyards one, which I think I bought oh, yeah. like another two bottles or over whatever. The, yeah, I think I bought you, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, okay, I, think right. I bought two more of those. Right. So I was like, oh, this is so good. And you were like, yeah, this is delicious. I was like, yeah, would you get one of these? He's like, it's amazing the breaks that get pumped by Keith if it's like when it's a wine. Because, and again, you take in a lot of other factors that that is what is important to you where right. all of a sudden you're like, well, could I find something that's 90% of this profile, <laughs> but save $4.05? Ah, yes. Can I bought, I mean, like, I mean, defend yourself if yeah. it's anything different. But no, that's, no, it's that true. Kind of no, thing, I'm right? not, I, I, that's, especially with like wine. For, like for me, like I know like that, for we were beer, both yeah. like, oh, this is good, this yeah. is good. And I was like, yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna get another couple of these. And like, would you get one? And you're like, I said for a, for a well, special occasion. Well, maybe that a cane, like, yeah. it was just weird. I was yeah. like, it's 20 bucks. And no, it was like, it, 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 that's it. That's fine. We're all different. You also have a house of only one drinker. And that's which that's, plays into it a little bit, and that does definitely play into it. And because, like, is it the people that we visited that got us the the um, 
the the Russian River, they are they are both wine drinkers and they enjoy wine daily. I would say, and that, you know, he was talking about spending you know certain amounts of money on wine, and he's like, yeah, you know, for, they bring in this and they bring in that, and it's six or seven. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, I can find a wine I enjoy for that price. There are people who you know want to spend more and, and and i and i respect that that's just that's just not where i fall that's all <clears throat> oh the jack daniels this is not always the one oh geez the god that link is terrible jesus Christ. hold on a second oh maybe it will show will it do it that link is absolutely gross but right there uh, <laughs> berserker i thought you might want to know that's that's the actual one that uh i got to have it that was not uh that was not the price this is like secondary market pricing because it's gone out of hand but yes that is the it's this one right here. Oh my God. It was nuts. Like how delicious it was and smooth. That other one was too. H, what's the other one too that you were uh, like initially wanting me to like, was that the one that was aged in like a wine barrel or something like that? Stag Jr. and the Jack Daniels are tied for the highest proof we have. Yeah. And we have actually done a podcast, Gim, uh, on the Stag Jr., which is 132 ish proof. Um, I'm pretty sure we have, I'm like 99% sure we did that one. Because that one to me is really good, but you have to be ready for it. It's not quite as smooth as some of the other ones, um, but it is it is very delicious. Like I, uh, let's see if I can actually find this one quick. Because I think I can go. Yeah. Is there nothing yeah, higher than one thirty two proof? A sixty one percent alcohol right there. Yeah, I mean, unless you go to like Everclear or some or sort that, of like not, no, not sixty one. That's bad math. That's sixty six percent. Was it the Westward? It was that one in, in that bottle because it was like you were the one that was kind of initially pushing. You're like, oh, you, you should have this one. You should try it. And I remember Jay was kind of like, he's like, yeah, that one's good. He's like, maybe. And you're like, no, no, you try it. Because I think it was like 110 or 115 proof. Uh, but it was, that one was very You said delicious. the 279 is a secondary market price, right? That is definitely, yeah, secondary yeah. market price. So for what sure. were the primary? It should be like, I don't know, maybe 100 bucks tops. Like okay. it's one of those kind of things. Like Bookers? We've had, we've had Bookers. We have, we have, I don't know if we've podcasted on that. We've done Booker's and Baker's, um, like I said, uh, Baker's more recently, because that was one of the ones you liked a long time ago when we the first Bakers. were doing it. Yeah, because you were like, oh, the cola note. The cola, and this, that, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Um, and our good Scotch friend will be, uh, will be starting to work with him next week. I saw him last week. Yeah. So. What is it? What yeah. are we having from him soon? <laughs> I don't know. There we go. There is the uh, review that we did of the Stag Jr. That's from over January 29th, a day after my birthday. That got posted. I really had the beard going there. You did. That was with our old camera too. So apologize for that. Yeah, Westward is one sixteen. Okay, I can't. Yeah, I couldn't remember what the name of that one was specific. I think I did do some sort of uh, distiller on that. Booker's I had was one hundred twenty and a half, and it was jet fuel. <laughs> it it honestly well, one can of the be. ones we had too that was really hot was that uh, the the Buna. The, the Buna Haben? Buna Haben. That mm. was like in the 60s. Yeah, that was a scotch. I mean, that was like early on too when we had yeah. that. Um, and I but think yeah. you bought me a bottle of that. I did. Yeah, because yeah. that was, what did you call it? The Sweet Heat? The, the sweet, sweet Fire? Heat. The, the sweet, sweet Heat. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I like I said, I have definitely, like I said, those are kind of, those are the exception. Uh, like, you know, like a lot of people like the barrel proof stuff like Pacific, but they can be, if they're not done well, they can be super hot. They can be jet fuel. Uh, and like the Bakers, they're the Bookers too is unfiltered. I think as well. So it's like uncut, unfiltered. So it's even a little bit more harsh. I remember who we used to work Kent Graves. That was always one of his favorites as well. Remember he used to like the bookers. That was like always one of his booker. No. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have not had that in a while. I should revisit that one, but yeah, that Jack, that Jack Daniels is pretty amazing. Uh, like I said, if you can actually find a bottle at regular price, I like how at two ninety nine they're claiming it's a good deal that and it's like, they're giving you 20 bucks off, 20 bucks off. two eighty. You know. Unless, do you want to have that for, like, I've already had it aside. Do you want to pre-order that for our uh, future uh, <laughs> finishing podcast? The ja well, I guess we could. Uh, Only I think three I've seen items that left before. What do you think it is? Right? I, I don't know if they actually have the price. It should be at least half that. I would think it's maybe in the 100 to 125 range. Yeah, I have not had the bookers in a little while, H. I thought we found one for two twenty nine. I think that was maybe was that part of the bundle that you guys got? That was what Jay estimated it out to, or did you guys get one separate? But yeah, I have seen it cheaper, but even those I think are still over. Like I said, I, I think it's in the 
100 ish range it was funny actually this specifically that jack daniels that i put a link to when we were at the baseball game with uh with our other with our other brother and with uh mom um thought the regular yeah that would sound right somewhere around 7900 but like so it, it, a lot of these are usually not that expensive it's when they hit the oh, secondary it's market too oh okay. yeah it's oh my god it's, <laughs> um that's one of the that's one of the ones we always joke about when you like you can tell like what kind of guest you are when you come over what's sitting out on the shelf. That one is hidden in a cabinet over at, at H and J's house. At H &J. They showed me it was there, so I felt I was like at the level of being on that now. The Jack Daniels might be my favorite that we have on hand. It is that one is pretty amazing. Sinatra and you gotta, Select. You got to find some more bottles of that. The okay. Sinatra Select was the best I've ever had, but one eighty five regular price tag was still rich. Yeah, that is getting super. Yeah, that is getting super expensive. I I totally agree. Uh, but anyway, while we were at the baseball game, we went and saw the Cub game a couple weeks ago. Uh, and uh, the person in front of us, I just happened to be talking. I think you and uh, mom had gotten up using the restroom or oh, whatever. Yeah. And I was talking with our other brother and I was, I was like, I was telling him about this whiskey particular. And the guy in front of me was really like, he's like, oh, he's like, I've had that one. And like, we actually started struck, struck up a conversation and started talking about it. And he was like, yeah, he's like, I've had that one. He's like, I've got a bottle at the house. He's like, and he was going back. And I was like, wow, where did you get it? He's like, oh, he's like, there's a couple liquor stores up here in Phoenix that like, if when they get it, if you're there, like you get it at whatever regular price wow. was, which okay. I forgot to ask what that was, but uh, <laughs> if you're a back, it's inviting myself. Over to the, <laughs> you should. It is like, again, I am not a like that was why for me, like I've always been like eh, Jack Daniels, you know, because you think of Jack Daniels. And right. You think you of think, what, yeah, basic. Yeah. Yeah. You think of Tennessee sipping whiskey. What, what the hell is on the label? Tennessee yeah. sipping whiskey. Something, something like that. Another side tangent. When I used to when I would go to the. uh there's a uh, mall uh, like in the area of our of our house uh, and like on certain days there was always like a biker gang that would be there like in the mornings like they must be getting their coffee or whatever or something like that and it was always like and by bikers I mean like Harley not actually Schwinn. not, not, not bicyclist Schwinn, not Schwinn um, and I would go there and there's one guy that must he must love Jack Daniels because his literally his footboards were Jack Daniels his back one had like the gentleman Jack logo on it the, everything was Jack Daniels like holy shit he was like, sponsored did you get by paid Jack. for this? he must have gotten yeah. paid <laughs> heat is my middle name yeah the heat is definitely there but it is it is and maybe it was too like you know when I was trying those that evening like I said you guys were all, as always very amazing with uh, letting me taste some of those some of those things like we kind of went up in proof my parents were Swayze fans what does that have to know <laughs> What does that have to do with Patrick Swayze? It's a wrong joke. Maybe your parents were Al Pacino and Robert De Niro fans from the movie Heat. Maybe we should have gone oh, with that. Oh, okay. Should we have gone with that? <laughs> or do you want to go with, uh, who would it be, uh, uh, Ted Danson and uh, Kathleen Turner, and you go for Body, body Heat? heat. You go yeah. for Body Heat? <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> have you been drinking? You messed up on that joke. It's all right. We'll, we'll accept it. But anyway we I, I went up in proof so that like maybe that made that one seem even not as bad like we went from like 110 to like 120 ish then up to okay that. yeah de niro pacino there we go there Val we go. kilmer even that is a, it's a good movie have you seen heat in a while it, no i haven't seen it in a long time but we watched it years ago yeah that is a great movie unfortunately ashley judd's in it oh that's right she is yes why does she have to be in anything i blocked that out i know it was a good thing i'm sorry i reminded you about that you've ruined it she's not in it for a lot but that's true is she someone's girlfriend val kilmer's she like helps him escape or okay get healthy or something or and he helps her get that acting shootout lessons, right, though, for the robbery is so good that it's so, no, that's, that's a michael mann film right yeah yeah Kilmer, maybe that's why I thought Swayze, they look kind of like, one's about three or four inches taller at least, though, I think, <laughs> and it's not Patrick Swayze. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I, if you happen to see that one on the shelf, that one, there's, Jack Daniels also does some other single barrel things, which I thought about trying that are like in the 45 to $50 range that are, I think. Yeah, the, they do the different key, ones. The key is when you see that they've done a different recipe than what they normally have, then it's like, okay, maybe these might be good. Positron, good to see you. Thank you. How's it going? I was grappling all night. Maybe I took some head trauma. <laughs> There's single barrels. Okay, that's okay. So I have not tried that one. I, I was thinking about trying it. I have seen that one readily available. They have a single barrel select. They have a rye barrel select, and then this one specifically is like the the creme de la creme because it's single barrel barrel proof of the chess world and a show with everything but Yule Brenner. <laughs> wow. I got accepted to the college I wanted to within a month. Positron, that's awesome. Congratulations. Wow. Nice. That's super cool. Fantastic. Yeah, that one's usually 
Yeah, definitely lower the single. Is it single barrel rye or the single barrel just regular select? Because I think the non rye is usually around 50 ish. Yeah, congrats. Congrats. That is super awesome. But yeah, we've gotten off on a tangent. I would, yeah, I would like to try some of these things. I'd like to try more of these things. Maybe we just, maybe we actually, that year end podcast where we try something special, we should just go over to HJ's house and just go through their collection. <laughs> That's it. A, it'll, we, be, it'll save us a lot of money or we just give them a little money <laughs> just give them, just give we, them 50 bucks we slip them like 50 bucks and, and we, we get, get like we two or three two pours. or three things <laughs> yeah there we go love every bit of this yeah there we go oh my god new jersey positive. the regular select some positive, is 65 i believe you're right about the rye being a bit cheaper mm -hmm. okay this is a rye a bit cheaper okay yeah, I have not uh, looked at it. They have it sometimes uh, at the uh, Walmart that I will go to when I was looking for the Weller things. Remote episode. That would be amazing. I'm telling you. Done and done. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> now they're going into Joseph's their private because now, now he doesn't get his extra bottle. That's true. Uh, that we'll have to buy a little extra. I have yeah. to stock up for that. Well, gosh, I don't know how long we're. Geez, that's a, yeah. Can we spend the night? Do we have an overnight stay there? We try a lot oh, we're of doing it from. Oh, we're doing it from there. Yeah, from oh, okay. the, from their house. And we wow. just get to stay the night. Pass out. <laughs> don't want to run out. Oh God. Yeah, just make sure you stock up on that Jack Daniels one. Uh, all right. Well, it has been uh, quite a fantastic evening. It has uh, been. Yes. What are you thinking about for next <laughs> week? You already have beers in mind, right? Well, I could bring over some of the stuff uh, from the the California trip if we want to do that. Okay. Well, do you have something um, in mind? I could specifically buy that. that uh, well, there's a uh, that um, that porter that that barrel aged porter from that does sound Russian River. We could do that. <clears throat> we could do. Uh, um, I do have another one of their regular. It's called like Hop, Happy Hop. From uh, Russian River, I, I've got Happy that. Hop. Oh, interesting. We've done Pliny, so we won't do that necessarily for a podcast. If you want to do that, uh, Scotch, we could do I, I that. I think we've even done that on a podcast. Right? I think we probably have somewhere. Uh, we could do that Scotch if you want to do the. Yeah, well, maybe we should do that because I had I had Finlagen, mentioned that earlier this Isla. week, and then uh, since it is in Isla, like I said, Lafroy is as well, <laughs> so we could compare it directly to that one, which I do have some of. Okay. Uh, uh, well, no, they said it was similar to uh, <laughs> your friend of about Bad, your friend of ours. Like, Lagavulin. I know that. Okay. But it is also uh, an Isla specifically. Okay. So then I figured we could uh, all see the same. The Laz and Scorchy Show. That is quite a long name. I like that, though. Thank you. Thank you for the Thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. That is super nice. How is your evening going? How are things? Thank you very much for the raid. What were you guys up to? What were you doing? What were you streaming? And I say we because it sounds like more than one. At the least name five. is a work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Lazarus, I like that. That's good too. I like the Laz and Scorchy show though. That's equally the as Laz good. The Laz and Scorchy show. Hey, it's Scorchy oh, Tear. Nice. Okay. Scorchy Tear in here. Fantastic. Okay. Oh. That's awesome. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much for dropping in as well. What were you guys doing? What were you doing? That's exactly how we say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I've got to find out what you guys. I'm, I'm gonna guess maybe some podcasting. The Laz and Scorchy Show. That's it. That is, I did think a little itchy and scratchy there. I have to say. Hi, 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 hi. Hold on, wait. This one takes me a little oh, longer good. sometimes. Okay, good. Well, boop. Talk shows and podcasts as well. Fantastic. What were you guys talking about? Did you guys guys have a specific topic you were doing? Were you guys trying something, tasting anything? Let me know. Were you talking? What were you talking about? You said the jingle at exact same way we did. Oh, my. <laughs> the Laz and Scar T show. show. HJ, HJ, yeah, for, uh, for uh, uh, whiskey tasting. Oh, my God. Yeah, we got to give it for the whiskey tasting. We're talking about Keith objectifying prices and all of us going over to H Days for a house. Mysteries for some whiskey and strange days. phenomena. Ooh. So today Ooh. we chatted about the dancing plague of 1518 and the egg story. Interesting. Oh, I like that. That sounds like something that my wife would actually enjoy. She loves all the, well, actually yours as well. Like both the, in yeah, the horror movie, the ghost, the, yeah. horror movies, ghost stuff, like all those things. That and, sounds yeah. super cool. I'll have to check the that out. Dancing plague of 1518. People just had to dance. That would be a horrible plague. Dancing, <laughs> dancing plague was because your dancing was absolutely infectious and horrible. Yes. It was both of those things. Uh, but well, if any of that interests you, make sure you right click on that link that I just put in chat. Okay. 
go to that tab, hit the follow button, and then you can always uh, come back here. But you can hit those alerts and make sure you know when they go live. That is super nice. Thank you again for the raid. That is fantastic. They had to dance, and it was a wild time. Okay. <laughs> These are wild times. With Gotta man. dance. They played uh, Putting on the Ritz. That laugh is not directed at the plague. Are you sure? <laughs> they played Putting on the Ritz. And, uh, <laughs> Putting on the Ritz. Gotta dance. Gotta dance. Gotta dance. So, yes, I know it was Lagavulin. Yes. But I was okay. like, I don't have Lagavulin. Okay. I didn't feel like buying another bottle right don't now. Don't buy another so bottle. So I was like, do I have any other Isla Scotches? And I was like, oh, I do. I was right the other week when I said Lefroy. I, we could. And so at least that is in the okay, same ballpark. Sure. So right. that was where I was going with that. Lagavulin is my favorite. It is it's delicious. Del- yes. I think we have podcasted on that at some podcast. point. I'm sure at some it. point there have been some podcasts. Shameless plug. If you guys are new, thank you guys for coming in. I'm Andrew. That's Keith. And uh, we are about beverages. We do Absolutely. some podcasting on Thursday evenings uh, as well as we... Uh, He's some, on a lot more frequently than I am. I do. I play games throughout Doing the week. I'll be thing. on again tomorrow. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming in. You're our first raid from the podcast before we made a dedicated channel via Scorcheteer. Nice. Well, thank you for the, I... I'm honored. We We're are both honored, honored for of that. Course. That is super cool. Thank That'll you be so our much. claim to fame. That will be, yes, that will be our there claim. We're go. gonna have to put that on our bio. We're gonna have to make that happen. That's right. Uh, but yeah, like I said, so I th- I think it'd be good to if if you feel like purchasing that one. Okay. Like I said, I think we should do that. And I think maybe the blind we'll tasting thing again. Sure, we would. Tr- oh, you mean compare the? Yeah. Okay. Well, we probably know the the one is liquid bacon though, right? No, that's the that's the quarter cast. Oh, okay, I have no, I have the Lefroy. Okay. I have the Lefroy tenure. Like okay. they're they're thirty dollar. Okay, Lefroy right, we'll try tenure. that against. Sounds good. Yeah, perfect. Because then that's at least a little bit more ballpark wise price. Because like I said, okay. the Lagavulin, which I'm being told this is compared to, that's like a sixty to seventy dollar whiskey. Yeah, at, yeah, at least. Yeah. So we both really love your show and knew we had to rate it. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. It. Yeah, you, we're we're getting toward it. the end of things ourselves here. We're going to be, I think, passing on the rating love. We will as well. We will be passing on the torch here so we're as just well. Moving along via the interwebs, <laughs> cruising, <laughs> true. riding the wave, cruising, riding of, uh, Yeah. Uh, let me see. Things yeah. started out a little slower today, but really, really yeah. have picked up. So that's really cool. Yeah. No, it is. Uh, it has gone very well. I'm going to go ahead and I don't know what this is. Uh, see what that is, and then we'll do this. We may move over to something there. Do that. Had to clip you both saying the Laz and Scorchy show because it was too good hour <laughs> the drinks this evening. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed our. Uh, and I'm glad we were like right on. Uh, right, you know, we, we matched what you guys do, so that's good. Our musical interpretation. Yeah, of that. You're not like damn those bastards. What are they singing that song? Beverages were very good. The secret beverage that we had this evening uh, that was not listed right there, as I just put in chat, was uh, we had uh, enjoyed a homebrew uh, that uh, my delicious. friend uh, Jay and I yeah. had done that was actually quite delicious. It came out great, so we enjoyed that. Uh, and then we went on to the uh, Stone Brewing uh, beer, which, w- which was good. It was very unique. Yeah, um, not so exactly not, what we were hoping for, but it was still yeah, good. It was still good. Uh, the Mind Circus IPA from Russian River Brewing, they're out of uh, California, out of where? Fresh, uh, Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa, California. Yeah. Uh, that one was as delicious as we'd expect. Their, their beers are always fantastic. If you can find any of those, I know you guys are uh, on the other side of the pond, but uh, like I said, those are equally excellent and delicious. And then the uh, Kayo Signature Japanese Whiskey, uh, aged in Miz- Mizunara oak barrels. That's right. Was was very good. I had hoped that a little bit more would come out for the price, right? Uh, like I said, because it is around seventy bucks. Uh, so I was hoping for a little bit more complexity there. If you take that out of it, I enjoyed it. Like I said, I think I think it's very good. It's very easy drinking. Uh, there is some some good flavors to be found there. But yeah. I think at that price range, it feels like a little bit more should have come out. But I would definitely try more things uh, from that producer for sure. Uh, any at any time but uh but yeah so we're gonna wrap things up so it sounds like next week we're gonna do a comparison between a, a trader tasting. joe's uh isla isla, isla, isla scotch isla scotch compared to a lafroy okay uh 10 years so like i said nothing crazy it's not yeah it's not the quarter cast okay all right <laughs> it's not still, the liquid bacon it's still it's still pretty peaty and smoky okay. so, but that's right. what you get from it like that's again that's, that's why that, it's a lot of that is yep. their profile yeah uh so like i said we'll compare those two and then it sounds like maybe another beer of something and, I'll, and i've got some yeah. beers too like i said me I'll, I'll definitely pull a beer out of the stash too so maybe we'll do okay. another kind of like two individual things and then the podcasting i think we can probably turn that into a regular podcast the the compare and contrast. Sounds good. Of the, what is it called? Finlagen. Finlagen. Okay. Finlagen. Not, Isla, not Isla Storm. No. 
which it sounds like that. Not, not Isle of the Tiger. Do not get that one. It sounds like it is yeah, not. Don't Gigerd. get that one. Okay, I don't know. Do you even have that one? We it's don't. Not. Is there something called that? Yeah. No, I'm 100. percent oh. No, when I oh no, we you, don't have that. Yeah, no, because I I went and looked because I couldn't remember the name of it when you had said we were going to do that, and I texted and I was like I was like oh I'm like uh, yeah there's this one and I and I looked it up and I saw people reviewing there and they're like ooh it's this and then oh, yeah. it didn't sound very good and I was like is it this one? No, I hear good things about the Finlagen, so we'll try that. People buying it by the case. By the case. This is true. Is that is it true? A person buying it by the case. One that I know. You have one person buying yes. it by the case. All right, we're gonna wrap things up here. Thank you again so much for the raid. Thank you guys so much for the follows tonight, the tips, the bits, the subs, all of those things. Thank you guys so so much. We had a wonderful evening, uh, as always. Anytime on the Laz and Scorchy right. show with the follow. The there Laz we go. And Scorchy show. Anybody who wants to hear a little Iron Maiden sounder right as we're leaving right now, you're more than welcome to hit the follow button right now. Uh, and if you want to, as we head over, we're gonna go ahead and uh, raid Javman. He is a very good friend of the show. He's playing some Destiny, so if you're into the podcast thing, maybe this is not where you want to go right now. Totally understand. Uh, but if you want to watch uh, some Destiny, some higher level content, if you want to hear. Uh, Lucky, also one of the huge supporters of us uh, ever since we started. If you want to hear Absolutely. him screaming about something, <laughs> probably Destiny related. Or the Chiefs. Or, you know. Or the Chiefs, 100%. Patrick Mahomes, who knows? Yeah, his love of Patrick Mahomes, all of these things. Uh, you can go check that out. Like I said, they are huge friends and supporters of the show. Uh, so go uh, maybe drop them a follow as well if you'd like to. And if you're into Destiny, they are great people to follow because... Again, higher level content stuff, uh, all the things that you need and could possibly want, they can be your fire team. So uh, that is uh, what we're going to do. They can for right be now. your fire team. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought there was be more to that. I was so excited. I was like, that's it. I can be your fire team. Good night, baby. everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next week. 